All right, hello. So, um, we're gonna see how this works. So here we go. Every day, there's going to be a daily 1 million Ayaya coin challenge. There it is. Every week, there will be a 5 million Ayaya challenge. And every month, there will be a 20 million Ayaya challenge. So there you go. Now, if you guys can't finish it, I'll just take whatever amount it got and take it off. Ass assuming you guys don't get it refunded. If you guys get it refunded, then of course I'm not going to double dip. But if you guys don't make the challenge, then I'll just take the coin, whatever amount you reach and take it off. So there you go. How's this for engagement? So you can only contribute 2,000 coins every stream to these ones. So there you go. We'll see. Are you baiting chat and spending mana coins just to bullshit out some kind of 10 times promotion later? No, I would never do that. No, no bamboozle, I'm not doing that. I may do a future bamboozle, but not this time. I'm not doing a bamboozle this time. Are they all supposed to take 30 days left? Yeah, I just set it to max, because why not? Just in case there was some problem. All right, so, um, what is Weeb Absolution? Just read it. It has a description. That's what Weeb Absolution is. See, now you have a reason to come every day so you can get your daily but also a reason to make sure you're here for all the streams every week to get your, your daily um, contributions to the weekly, but also to show up all through the month to do all the contributions daily to each month one because you can only contribute to 2,000. And that's not me being a scumbag, that's just how the system works. That's just how Twitch works, right? So there you go. How's this for engagement? Like, damn, damn. All you weebs are just here just to watch me play this attorney, but now you're roped into the uh, Yaya narrative. Damn, what are we going to do after Yaya is uh, enabled? What's next? How can we keep this going? By the way, if you have a Amazon Prime subscription... Alright, so uh, we're going to do the PlayStation 5 event later. Um, I will continue streaming until this is done today, so hopefully we can get it done in time. And then we can um, uh, take a short break and then we'll come back for the PlayStation 5 uh, uh, event. And then I'm not streaming tomorrow because the puppies have to go to the vet. Um, it's both that they they need their shots, 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 and uh, they need to meet the vet. They I haven't, I haven't taken them yet. Should have taken them sooner actually, I didn't realize I had to take them so soon. I wanted to get them settled. And uh, that only just recently happened that they're, they're, they're settled and they're best friends and everything. Um, but uh, I th we think Gatsby has worms. So, um, like, you might be wondering why why don't you schedule it and why is it, like, all of a sudden no stream tomorrow? Well, because that's the earliest appointment they had and Gatsby has worms. So I just, I don't want him to live with the worms. He might not have it, actually. It's not confirmed. It looks like it to me. Uh, Yoshi does not have it. So it's, um, it's just Geralt. So, but not 100% confirmed. Uh, you may be surprised to learn this about me, but I am not a veterinarian, so I can't really tell for sure. Um, but it, it appears that way. It could also be that, like, they're just ripping, like, ribbons off their, their bully sticks? I don't know. It's weird. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, so I'm taking them to the vet tomorrow. So there's no stream tomorrow, because the vet appointment is, is right around when stream would start. 
and you know me, it's very important to start at the same time every day. Uh, but we will be back on Friday for Deltarune, hopefully, or unless this something awful goes wrong. Um, I'm going to be taking the dogs out an hour early today, so um, in about an hour from now, I'm going to be taking a, an earlier break. If you please, if you get a mid-roll ad at some point during today, can you please let me know? Because Twitch is automatically running them. If you get a mid-roll ad, just like send up a flare and chat like mid-roll, mid-roll, and then we'll just stop the stream and um, and and die. No, I just want to know um, if it happens, please so we can calibrate how often I have to run a mid-roll ad so we don't get them at a bad um, spot. <sighs> you, just got, you just got a mid-roll ad? You probably just got an ad when you joined the stream, I think. I don't know how it is. Like, YouTube, when YouTube wants to automatically um, put, put ads in a video, YouTube will put an ad every fucking, like, five minutes. It's ridiculous with their new system. I put a stream up and it's just like an ad every five minutes for the first two hours and then and then the system shits the bed and it's like no more. It's it's so crazy how often they want to put an ad in. Okay, uh, link is out. Windows are set up. Um, someone gifted 20 subs again. Rygan, holy shit. Okay, I'll get to that. Thank you so much, Rygan. Holy fuck. Rygan, did you make Minecraft? Uh, thank you to... Ingvarfed for the 32 month resub, thank you very much. Lobster Persona for 12 months in a row. Welcome to the one year club, Lobster Persona. 12 months in the what the fuck is taking so long battalion. <laughs> what? Thank you probably Sean for the 5 month resub. Thank you, Bunny and Boost24 for the 17 month resub. Hi, Joe. Are you excited to be almost done with AA? Hey, we got two more after this. AA, two more. Uh, kind of excited. It's, it's nice to conclude something, but I'm looking forward to playing the next two. I'm having a good time with these. It's fun. Which is the best one? I think most people agree that the third one is the best one, right? Mm. So we'll see. Thank you, Woot Woot Woot, for the new sub. Welcome, Woot Woot Woot. Thank you, Sinomumium? Sinomumium? Mummium? Mummy? I'm just adding words. Sino mummy? Sino mummy? It's mummy, isn't it? W is moo. Sino mummy? There we go. We finally did it. World first, pronouncing that. Thank you very much for the 513 sub. Joseph Us Miller. Uh, use 100 bits to say, will you highlight the Disco Elysium streams on Twitch somehow? I don't know how that works. Anyway, happy to see you stream. I'd have to re-upload them for that, and I think that might trigger the copyright system on there. Uh, there is a way to watch them if you go on Discord, and that's all I'll say. Go go be an investigator, and uh, you can find out how to watch them. Uh, thank you, Astral Sol Solini? Solania? Solania. It's going to be that kind of day. Sorry. Uh, for the 3 3 sub. Maya, yeah. Glad you're, you're back. That upon, that upon. Wow. Uh, we love you. Love sign. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Astral. Uh, Fabulator K is recently for 20 months. All right. Back to sub. Back to Weebery. Ooh. The uh, Weeaboo Wagon, wasn't it? Waifu Warehouse Weeaboo Wagon. Thank you, Vinny BNG, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, The Rice Works, as well, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Taco Waveable has resubscribed for 29 months. Was this really a wise use of 29 months for me? Um, did you spend all 29 months? Then yes, th th that was uh, that was a mistake. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Taco Waveable. Thank you, Chicken Myth, the mythical chicken for the 33 month resub with a smiley face. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amanda Amanda Bynes for the new sub as well. Welcome, Amanda Bynes. Big fan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rygen, for gifting out another 20 subs. Uh, I think you did the same yesterday, right? It was 20 yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, it, 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 just insane. And you gave like a shit ton of bits before too. Thank you, Rygen. Uh, superbly bonkers. Uh, oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Peer, Peer Pro, no, Pi Pro, sorry. Bouncy Bob, Bob Yob, two Bobs in a row, wow. Integral Hamster, cool name. Hugh Boy, uh, Hen, Hen Tentacles, huh, what could that mean? Uh, Endervale, Seasick Wartalk, Dask, Dasky Chan? Dasky Chan? Figure 14. Titonet? Titonet? I don't know. Uh, K KD Ports, 25. Compton. Taylor Falge. The Geek, or Geek. Bu6613 Man. Asterisk 3095. And 
Yash Yashohira Yashohira Yasuhira, the Rio, Yasuhira. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome to you, and thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you, thank you. I think the subs are, are sometimes a ploy just to get me to uh, just completely butcher names and just embarrass myself trying to uh, trying to say names. Ban everyone who contributes to the Ayaya Fund. I read that first. Ban everyone who contributes Ayaya fraud. I was like, how how is there a Ayaya fraud? What's that all about? Thank you, Virus Sen, for the three month resub. Three months in the Ayaya uh, Asylum. That's pretty good. Thank you, Sammy Samuel Agiar09. Did I say it right? Nine months, Joe. Thank you for being so awesome. You make our day so much better. Uh, heart hype to see all games. Thank you, Samuel. That's a nice message. Thank you, Ardell Ardell1 for the two month resub. Remember to use your Twitch Prime chat. Angry sub. Yeah. There we go. Not me saying it. It's it's Ardell. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Is <laughs> Ismo PR1 for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Landcare77 for 19 month resub. Can these new mid roll ads play for subs or just non subs? If the former, would you consider streaming events like the PS5 thing on YouTube instead? Thanks for the fun. Uh, it's only for non subs because I have it set that subs can't see ads if they subscribe. Some channels can choose that if you're sub, you still see ads. I think it's it's on the the channel end that you can decide that. Um, I cannot stream on YouTube because it's illegal. I can't. I have a I have a contract with Twitch. Um, I think everyone who is partnered with Twitch, uh, unless they negotiate a, a, a difference, is um, is exclusive to Twitch. So I, I cannot stream on another platform. Um, I can't even pee outside. Like it's it's. <laughs> All right, moving on. Thank you, Ragan, for gifting another sub to XX uh, underscore. That, that's nine months now for XX underscore. Thank you, Regan. Thank you, thank you. Um, and last but not least is Danny on Twitch. Danny, Danny. Uh, thank you very much, Danny on Twitch. Welcome. Thank you for the new sub. Oh, and still Sony event? I think it's four hours from now, isn't it? Or three hours from now? I'm not sure. So we better get a move on. Do, 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 do. I think in the interest of getting it done, we should just um, postpone everything or just, just run into it. I'm not sure. How much fan art do we have? Three. Okay, let's let's show these real quick, and then we'll uh, then we'll get into it, and then we'll uh, we'll see if we can get this done. If it's between me and the and the uh, Sony event, you guys are gonna choose um, uh, the Sony event, right? Is it going to be anything interesting at the Sony event? <sighs> Alright, so, uh, I think Wuggy, uh, volunteered himself as tribute. And he was the, uh, the fartest that decided to bite the bullet and make Blue Badger Chan. You can f You can film me if you like. <sighs> Cursed by Wuggy. And here we go. The more Sundeer version. Do, 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 do. Which one do we like more, chat, left or right? Anyone else kind of see, like, Jester Sonic the Hedgehog a little bit? Do, 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 do. Thank you for this curse, Wuggy. Thank you. Looks more Yan Deer to me. We don't bring up that. We don't say that word anymore. We don't say that word anymore. Thank you, Wuggy. We need music for the complete experience. Yeah, we should, but um, we're, we're on like a tight schedule. PS5 event. Stop asking for Mayaya. The Virgin M Maya Fey. Useless. Wait. Whoops, step lawyer. I guess I just grew boobs. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. 
no! Oh no! No future job prospects. Terrible remastered sprites, that's true. Dresses like it's Halloween. Constantly talks about weeb TV shows. The Chad Emma Sky can read Phoenix's mind. Badass gadgets, basically Batman. Respects Chad Worth. Future investigator doesn't doesn't let her sister die. The pro <laughs> and it's her. <laughs> the prosecution rests your honor. Say no to my yaya. Enable Sky Yaya. Or oh, Sky Yaya by Spineless Coward. Thank you, Spineless Coward. I like Sky Yaya because then we get to say Ska. We should bring Ska back, right? Wow, you've you've convinced chat. Wow. If if this emote was was enabled, would that count as a yaya, or would you guys still want the OG or yaya? Are you are you that um uh into a yaya? I'm not sure. Because if th if this is enough, then we then we lose our our amazing engagement. Thank you for that, spineless coward. Thank you, After Juice, for the 813 soap with Sup Joe. Not much. Uh, having a pretty shitty day, to be honest, but uh, try not to think about it. Let's just get through it and uh, uh, sink into the stream. Feeling better already, actually. And thank you, Quick Evolution, for the new sub. Welcome, Quick, Quick Evolution. Like your name. All right, let's get into the trial. Do -do. Okay, we, we looked at that. These shelves are mostly empty. Lana must have cleaned them out when she transferred over to the prosecutor's office. There's a small picture frame on the left shelf. Hey, this is when Lana and I went to that theme park. Oh, okay. This was taken on that day two years ago, the day Joe Dark ran out of the questioning room and tried to kill Emma. Eventful day. After receiving his award trophy, Mr. Marshall took a picture here, then went along with Chief Gant to question Dark. I bet he never knew he'd be dead just a few hours later. Do you think? He never knew that the last dump he took was his last dump. Tragic. This was Lana's desk. It sure is tidy. Lana's always been a meticulous cleaner. There's not even any dust on it. Looks like someone's still keeping it clean. Does Lana ever come back here? No. Chief Gant must must still keep it clean in memory of their partnership. They were the stuff legends are made of. Does he keep it in memory of her or in memory of the crime? The Chief's organ sure is a sight to behold. It looks like a pickle. Occasionally we hear him playing it from the criminal affairs department. That's totally normal, right? That's on the second floor, and this is the 15th floor of an entirely different building. When a detective screws up, the chief calls him to his office and makes him listen to the, the organ for hours. What's so bad about that? Music soothes the soul. Not the way he plays, plays it. After that, the detective can't hear anything for days except the, for the ringing in their ears. That's the cells dying. So it's an instrument of punishment, literally. Wow. But aren't the chief's ears affected? He never listens to anyone anyway. That's beside the point. What? Alright, so like... If there was a zombie outbreak here, this police station would just fit right in, huh? Yeah, not evil at all. Wow, look at the side of, size of Chief Gant's desk. Speaking of that, when we were here earlier. Oh, it's you two. Chief Gant. He put that paper he was reading in his desk. Okay. Wonder what he was reading. This looks like a list of evidence. A list of evidence. In most cases, the list runs twice as long as this, though. Hey, look at the case name. Huh? Huh? SL9 incident? I wonder what this is doing here. SL9 incident? Hold on, detective. What did you just say? I said, I wonder what... No, about evidence lists. Normally, they're twice as long. Didn't we already hear that somewhere? That's right. I guess there wasn't a lot of evidence. Half-size list of evidence. List of evidence. It seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. What would the other half of the list be doing here? I knew it. The chief must be hiding something about that case. Or maybe it's the same list. It would appear so. Evidence list added to the court record. List of evidence on an incident was ripped in half. So this oh, it, like, it doesn't look ripped in half. What? 
Wow, look at the size of Chief Gan's desk. We found this inside of the drawer. A list of evidence from the SL9 incident. Mr. Chadworth had the other half of that list. What would this list be doing here? We better look in a little more into this. And, and Chadworth didn't notice it was ripped in half? That seems kind of weird. This is the real deal, isn't it? The armor and these weapons? Sure is, pal. The Chief doesn't care for imitations. First the pipe organ, now this armor. Do you know how many taxpayer dollars must have gone into this room? What, you mean we're paying for this? That's it, I'm not paying one cent on my taxes. You don't have any taxes to pay. Shh, be careful what you say. Who knows, the chief may be hiding in this armor as we speak. I don't think he'd fit in there. Even if he did, he'd never be able to get back out. Cut it out, you guys don't know how scary that guy can be. Not the killer, by the way. You can see pretty far from 15 stories up if you were to drop that suit of armor from here. At first, the chief wanted to use stained glass for this window. I mean, he still kind of did, didn't he? Really? Why didn't he? They say he changed his mind because he wouldn't be able to see the view. Oh, stained glass or not, it's a huge window. This is a safe, isn't it? Spooky safe. Safe? That word is ripe with intrigue. Uh, okay, if you say so. Looks like the code needs to be entered in this panel to open it. One, one, seven, seven, just a shit ton of sevens. A seven digit number. I think I just might know what it is. Just, just fucking sevens. Do you know what it is? I have a hunch. Oh, I know. You want to try my birth date. It's... I have a better idea. Here goes nothing. Seven. Seven, 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 seven. Yeah. Bingo. What number did you enter? Whose birthday was that, pal? Satan's. The final ID card number on that record. What? The number of my mysterious executive officer. Of, of, sorry, the mysterious executive officer who entered into the room that day. You mean. 777777, that ID number? I think you're 17 shy this time. This can only mean one thing that, that's Chief Gant's ID number. Say, anyone care to look inside? Nope. That desk on the other side of the room, was that your sister's? Yes, that's where Lana sat or something on that day two years ago. Is anyone using it now? No, sir. This is entirely Chief Gant's office now. He practices a strict policy of preserving the crime scene. That's a strange reason to leave it there. He leaves it as a warning to everyone else. He wants us to always be alert and afraid. He told us so himself at our New Year's party. Of course, he was pretty intoxicated at the time. I see. He started talking like when he was drunk about how he, he, he was planning to kill some dude. So ever since Lana left, no one ever touches that desk. Don't think it's relevant though. No one except Chief Gant and the cleaning lady who's in, in here each morning. Still two years have passed since that incident. There can't possibly be any clues remaining. Can I ask you something? Sure. You only came here to look around, right? Because it's one of the SL9 crime scenes. I mean, that's your only reason for coming here, isn't it? Why'd you ask? You don't think... Nah. You wouldn't be... No. No, there's no way. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now then, let's look around a bit more. What? Hey, hold on. Not so fast, buddy. Huh? What is it? When someone tells you don't worry about it, it's supposed to start bothering you, pal. Yeah, exactly. Do you think love can bloom in Chief Gant's office? You don't just let it go at, at that. S sorry, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. No, Gumshoe's the best. Okay, so what's bothering you? You two don't think Chief Gant might be a suspect, do you? What? He's right, Mr. Wright. What do, you th what do we think of him? Chief Gant. So it's finally come to this. What do I think of him? Perhaps it's best I don't divulge my feelings, yet. There you go, ignoring me again. The time has come, and so have I. Is there any money in there? How much does he have stashed away? Look, it's a, a... A shard from a broken cup. This somehow looks familiar. Where have I seen this before? There's something else in here, too. Ooh, what's this? It looks like a piece of leather cloth. This is a handprint, isn't it? It's a 
does he think he can transfer handprints by using that in places, or is it slam dunk evidence? Hey, I saw someone wearing a shirt like that once. You think the chief made up the design? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, well, it was just a thought. Is that it? Is that all there was in the safe? Apparently so. It's empty now. A piece of cloth with a handprint on it. And a broken shard from a cup. They look like pieces of evidence. Yeah, but unless you can prove they have something to do with this case, I'm afraid I can't just let you take them. After all, it's my neck on the line here. Great, now I have to prove their relevancy to get them. How are these two items related to the SLI incident? Well, I have no idea about the fucking piece of cloth, but I know where the piece of the cup goes. It's for sipping tea. Come on, there's gotta be something we can show the detective. Alright. Yo, here, 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 here. That's from Gumshoe. Could you have another look at this jar? I remember when the three of us put all put that back together. Ah, those were the days. It's kind of early to be nostalgic. Wasn't this jar a piece of evidence from that case? That's right. One of the shards had an SL9 incident sticker on it. Doesn't this ring any bells, you know, that fragment we just found? You mean this one that was in the spooky safe? Yes, that one that was in the safe. Whoa, dudes! Now you mention it, it's ringing a lot of bells. Like Dark Souls, let's see if it fits. Here, let me see that chart, I'll take a crack at this. It's already cracked, go ahead pal, show us what a rookie can do. Mr. Wright, here's some glue. If I can piece this together again, it'll prove Chief Gant was knowingly hiding evidence. Here goes. Whoa! Is that the demon symbol used to summon him? There, it fits like a charm. That, of course, means. She can't willingly and knowingly hit a piece of this jar inside his safe. In other words, he concealed a piece of evidence from the SL9 incident. But, you guys, get a load of this. What is it? This piece you just attached. It fits. It's different from the others. It's a replica. There's a reddish line on it. A reddish line? That's blood. I don't get it. Why would Chief Gant hide this in his safe? Unstable jar updated in the court record. Alright. Are we done? No, what about the... The fucking... The leather thing with the handprint on it? Does it match... Can we, can we fingerprint it? That's a gumshoe. I'd like to have a look at this. Hey, I know what that is. You want to take some fingerprints? That's a great idea, detective. All right, go to town. Sheesh. What are you doing? Why are you sticking out your hand like that? Go ahead. Take my fingerprints. Um, it's not your fingerprints we want to take. Huh? Come on, this isn't the time for jokes. We're talking about that cloth we found in the safe. Oh, heh heh. I knew that. The one with the handprint on it, right? Sheesh. Sheesh. Where's your sense of humor? It's deed. Okay, Mr. Wright, let's check for prints. Sprinkle the, the powder on the cloth. Then, once they've been absorbed into the prints, blow the rest away. What are you, What are you, my mom? I don't have to be told a million times. That's Mia. All right, let's get this over with. All right, let's go for this one. Hmm. Get out of a shot. The kind of result won't be any good for matching prints, will it? If it doesn't look like you will get a clear result from this print. Okay, let's try a different finger then. Oh, great. All right. All right, this one of the pinky looks like the best one. That's pretty good. gonna be Chadworth's. It's Emma's? What? Emma, did you touch it? 
No, how can this be? What are Emma's fingerprints doing here? Hey, you found a match? Whose fingerprints were they? Huh? Oh, uh, it seems the prints are too old. They aren't clear enough to get a match. What? What are you Phoenix, what are you doing? You're no better than Gant! Oh, that's too bad. I thought they'd be Dark's prints. Psst, hey you, over here. What's going on here? What, what are that kid's prints doing inside the chief's safe? Don't ask me. Let's just keep this information from Emma for now. Here, maybe you should hold on to this. Piece of cloth folded and add to the court record. Well, was I any help? Of course. Thanks to your ID card, we were able to get some hard evidence. Now that's not very kind, is it? In other words, if it wasn't for his ID card, he would have been useless. <gasps> Wait. Isn't that right, you in the coat? Uh-oh, Chief Gant. Is it taser time? We didn't think you'd be back so soon. Fortunately, I'm a man who believes in science. As I was walking to my meeting, I happened to look out a window and saw a stray dog run into, right into a pole. Just then, I thought of a certain detective. Do you mean me, sir? Now then, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. Yes, sir. Sorry. Oh, you in the coat. Me, sir? Drop off your ID on the way out. You won't be needing it anymore. But, sir... Now get out. You didn't check to see if we went in your safe of hidden evidence? Y yes, sir. We'll be on our way too then with this piece of the jar. And wait, are we just carrying that jar around? Wait, you, the one without the spiky hair. Don't go yet. Me, sir? I'd like a word with you. But sir, I'm, whoa, you with spiky hair, you're free to go. Mr. Wright. Look, pal, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. We shouldn't have left Emma with us like a possible murderer. The chief's office is off limits. But no, you just had to go sneaking in like in there like that, didn't you? I thought you said you didn't care anymore if you were fired. Yeah, but if I knew it'd be like this, I never would have said it. Now that I've seen the evidence Chief Gant was hiding in his office, I think I'm finally starting to get the picture. But why has she kept eerily silent? Why has she kept eerily silent about it all this time? Anyway, you listen to me? I'm gonna try to smooth things over with the chief again. Later, pal. After that, I heard from Emma. She said the police wanted to ask her some questions. So she'll be busy for the rest of the day. And we just thought that was fine. February 24, detention center, visitor's room. I see, so the chief asked Emma to come in for questioning. It's no use thinking about that. Tomorrow's the final day in court. I'm committed to doing everything I can to defend you, which is why I'm here. But we can't discuss any evidence, though, because apparently you think that's taboo. But I've already told you all I can, you know, outside of the taboo. What you've told me over these past couple of days is jack shit. It's absolutely nothing, not a single useful thing. Really? I believe I did mention something quite important. Something I told you right at the beginning. I said that I was the one who stabbed Detective Goodman. You know, I think I finally figured it out. I know who it is that's lurking behind your words. Mia did a good job men mentoring you. I'm rather jealous. But the thing is, I didn't specify was that he was already dead when I stabbed him. <laughs> Technically, I didn't die. And I didn't specify because you never asked. Because this is anime and that's how we communicate. It seems Chadworth was right. Chadworth, once you're convinced you know something, no one can persuade you otherwise. Thick-headed is the term he used, I believe. Now's my chance to get her to tell me the rest of the story. Hey, do you know do you know anything about about this and why fucking Emma's prints are on it? Showing evidence isn't going to do me any good now. I've got to get Lana to tell me everything she's hiding. Mr. Wright, you're evolving by leaps and bounds. I'm starting to see the hunger in your eyes. All right. I have to admit, I was more than a little perplexed at first. You insisted you did it, yet there was no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. It's not that you're unwilling to tell the truth. It's that you're incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. What an intriguing notion. A certain individual, you say. So you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No, I think afraid of is more like it. If I'm not mistaken, 
the person in question may have persuaded you to silence. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, who may I ask is this person you're speaking of? The one I am supposedly so frightened of. Who's this person's name? Uh, it's Meekins. You're afraid of Meekins. The person whom you fear is this. To be honest, there's someone a bit scarier. Who would that be? Why, you, of course. Me? Yes, you're stupidly dumb. You seriously believe what you're saying, don't you? Now, that's scary. I, uh, you seem to have the makings of a criminal in you. What with all your f fallacious accusations? Care to spend tonight in the cell next to mine? Are, are, you, are, you, are you asking me out? If you ask me, you're the scary one. Alright, I have to admit. We're in. You're afraid of, of Gant. Well, Miss Sky? Mr. Wright, you are addressing the Chief Prosecutor. Do not forget your place. I take it she's still not ready to spill the beans. My apologies. Could you please tell me a bit more about what you think you know? We were partners until two years ago. I respected him as a detective. Assuming he is respectable, then tell me something. Why would he try to hide his crimes? His crimes? Both you and Chadworth will be brought before a board of inquiry for what you did. Specifically, hiding and forging evidence. Of course, these are serious offenses. Why is it, though, that Chief Gant's name was never mentioned? Chief Gant. Chadworth didn't know the truth behind the forgery. The only party who could have possibly tampered with the evidence was... Me. I had access because I was second in command of that investigation. Yes, you. But also one other. Damon Gant. If you were second in command, you weren't in command! If you intend to accuse Chief Gant, you'll need more than just words. Show me proof that Chief Gant falsified evidence in that case. Okay, so it's either the half is missing. Wh what? The picture is drawn on the back of the evidence list in magic marker. Did he put it into a projector and then when she woke up she saw that being cast on the wall and that's what she thinks she's No. No they but they put a parrot on the stand. No. A picture's drawn. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Just found this in a safe in the uh, in, in the chief's office. This jar piece and this piece of cloth. Do you know what these are? They're pieces of evidence from the SL9 Institute. I, the person concealing evidence was none other than Chief Gant himself. Now tell me, why are you taking all the blame for him? Touché, Mr. Wright. It's as you surmised. I cannot disobey the Chief's orders, even if it means being found guilty for murder. Why not? Come now, Mr. Wright. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. Even I don't know why I'm doing it in the murder of Detective Goodman. Or perhaps I should say, follow orders. Yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Although I can't tell you the details, I can say that I was given an order that day. I need you to, disp to dispose of Bruce Goodman's body. You'll find it inside the trunk of Miles Chadworth's car. Just as I suspected, despite what everyone believes, you were not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. Correct. I was trying to take the body out of Chadworth's car. When I saw the knife and I pulled it out and that's what she th Really? The trunk's lock was broken and I discovered that murder weapon while, while inspecting the, the body. The murder weapon, you mean Chow Chadworth's knife? No, when I found the body, this was the knife stuck in it. What? Damn, Chadworth was just driving through the city with a body in his trunk? Usual Tuesday for him. The knife from the SL9 Institute, serial killer Joe Dark's knife. I couldn't just leave that knife in him. So I took it out and stabbed him with a nut. What's my what's my fucking win rate right now for just bullshit that I say and then it comes true? 
Like, I gotta be above 50%, right? Oh my god! That would be Chaworth's knife. That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking at the thought of stabbing him. That's why I ended up cutting my hands. And that... Oh, okay. <laughs> how... How, how is your hand shaking so hard that you cut your own hand for there to be that much blood and it got and it got on his shoe and what and that is the reason for the bandage on your right hand yes it seems like I got blood on the victim's shoes as well how did it get on the bottom of the shoe and then she saw me just as I plunged the knife in what you took him out and stood him up what what the fuck is this shit why did you stand him up to stab him, uh, Miss Star, huh? Why did you even take his leg out of the car? So why, why did you need to hide the uh, Dark's knife so badly? It took a lot of work to finally close the, the Dark case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't ever want to be it to be opened again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. So you hid Dark's, Dark's knife. The weapon used to stab the detective was evidence in the Joe Dark case. If word got out, which it would, the reporters would have a field day with that. How did blood get on you? It was your own blood? So you wrapped the knife in your scarf and hid it in Chadworth's exhaust pipe. Right, then I called my sister to tell her what happened and ask her to hide the knife that was inside my muffler. You asked Emma? I don't think a, a corpse wouldn't sp splurt blood, would it? When you took a knife out? Would it? I don't think- I don't know enough about corpses to know. What did? I didn't know anyone on the force. Didn't want anyone on the force to know about this. That would explain why Emma was so confident about Lana's innocence. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. A bad feeling. The truth is, after I received those orders from Chief Gant, the first thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. To Marshall? What on earth would you call him? The lead investigator for the SL9 incident had been murdered. I wanted that fact to be kept hidden and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust, or at least I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off on an escapade of his own. Oh, you mean, not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. He disguised himself as Detective Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He had already stolen the ID card, but it seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. After my phone call, any remaining doubts he had must have been had disappeared, so your phone call caused the incident in the evidence room. Do, 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 do. I'm afraid that's all I can tell you, but Lana... You've earned my respect, Mr. Wright, both as a defense attorney and an investigator. Now please, don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. Tomorrow's trial, there's only one way to drive off Lana's demons. Or daemons. I've got to get to the bottom of everything. Okay, so... So, fucking... Walker, Texas Ranger, or already had everything and he was ready to go in because he didn't want the evidence to go. And Lana's phone call after she found the body and s replaced the knife, but she replaced the knife by pulling Goodman's corpse out of the car, posing him like fucking weekend at Goodman's, and then stabbing the knife really dramatically into it instead of just slipping it back into the wound, which is coincidentally when whatever the fucker, Miss, Miss Star came in and saw it, but maybe she was told to go there at some point, or I, I kind of feel like that was maybe just she was just so happened to be there, and that made it more difficult. And instead, uh, um, Lana was meant to get rid of the body, but then she she didn't. She she went to call someone, or maybe she thought she she, she noticed that that star was there, but then she did the fucking Oompa Loompa dance around and, and did the phone call and then did the muffler thing or she couldn't go through with it. Meanwhile, fucking Walker goes and does his walk around the evidence room to do the thing, which is just coincidentally what happened, which also is coincidentally where Goodman really was murdered earlier that day, presumably by Gant. So then this all goes to trial and Gant has to work out how there were two murders and how the fuck that happened when he didn't he didn't plan for that because he gave Ed Chadworth the screwdriver to drive him back with the corpse in his car so it could maybe be pinned on Chadworth or maybe be pinned on on Lana like I don't know like this whole thing got way more complicated than his plan I guess and he just rolled with it like what what the fuck Ted to Goodman's real murderer And 
and what went down in the chief's office two years ago. To be continued. Okay, so how how fucking clown shoes is this gonna be? Like, it is it is Joe Dark even the killer? Like, did Joe Dark kill anyone? Was that also a pin? Like, is is it gonna stop with uh, D Damon killed um, uh, Marshall's brother after they struggled? Cause the knife was in his back. That was kind of weird. Or did did fucking did Jodar kill nobody and and was, is the real killer still out there or is Damon fucking serial killer fucking chief of police like February twenty fifth he's like he someone said that he keeps showing up with magical evidence does he make the crimes and then solve them like is that how he got chief of police he's like oh yeah I know how to get chief of police I'm I'm gonna kill people and then I'll have the evidence and then I'll plan it I'll plan it on people and then that'll cover up my crime and I'll have a lucrative career as being chief of police like what the fuck is this. This is the defendant lobby, all right, but there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma, for that matter? It's almost as if they're both dead. Something's been happening behind the scenes. Chadworth. Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 777-7777 ID number is, that is? Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt regarding this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True, not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can... Excuse me, I can call for a ruling. Five minutes, right? And Chief Prosecutor Sky will be found guilty. How did he? How did he get the body into Chadworth's car from the evidence room? But she didn't do it. Maybe he used some duct tape and duct taped it to the to the back of the blue badger, and his corpse arms were like moving up and down with the dance, and he just so posi positioned it as he was moving out that everyone just saw the front of the blue badger. And he's, like, when you turn the coin, you're like, whoa, shit, like, oh, no, here's the blue badger. Da, 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 da. And his corpse is, like, breaking bones and shit, like. <laughs> I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. This is the first time he's ever done something like this. Lion is hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth. Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today is the last day of the trial. We don't have the time to reminisce about the past. That depends on you. If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. See you in court, right? And then after court, we'll go have some spaghetti. Spaghetti forever. This is it. If I'm ever going to find out what, what Chief Gan has, has on her, it's now. Deadly trial. Deadly verdict. February 25. 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number nine. You should write fantasy. I would read it. Oh, I think I, I think I could write some pretty good anime bullshit parodies. No, I think it would be fun. Uh, court, court is now in session for the trial of this last guy. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. But uh, hmm, uh, before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Drop the case, and it'll all go away, Chief Gant. Oh, he's invisible. Oh, shit! Cloaking device. Morning, folks. How's everyone doing? Hey, Aji, been back to the pool yet? Uh, no, I've been drowning enough as it is in my own work. Oh, that's a good one. Don't think I can top that. If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Is it a ring that you're going to slip on my gigantic fingers? Lana, that is to say the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. She wants to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. Huh. If you say you did it, I'll let Emma go. What's this, what's this about, defendant? I'd just like to make one simple request and I'll be finished. Hmm. Uh, well then, what's your request? Your Honor, I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. Huh? A 
confessed to all charges against me. On February 2021 20, of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. No, Lana. You can't. Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, you are no longer my attorney. I no longer require your services. But Lana, Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. The prosecution may lack direct evidence against me. It has sufficiently proven its case through testimony and circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Hmm. Uh, well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-representation. Her request is legally valid, although it is an unprecedented situation. Uh, indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue this trial. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening. Hmm. It appears the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. One moment, Your Honor. Uh, 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 Mr. Chadworth. Oh. The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would certainly be premature. Come now, worthy. Oh, he's back on the, back on the stand. All right, Lana jumped away real quick. I understand this is a difficult time for you, but why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? Humph. I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. What? Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. Love you, Chadworth. With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal, hmm? Not everyone operates as you do, worthy. Ooh! Judge pounding on his gavel. Hmm, I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Uh, oh, uh, to whom? As its first witness, the prosecution would like to call Miss Emma Sky. I request the court hears her testimony. Oh, you're so smart, Chadworth. Oh, you're so smart. Mr. Chadworth. I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Sky. The exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Hmm, uh, very well. The court shall grant the prosecution's request. That's okay with you, right, Chief Gant? Worthy. You'll live to regret this. Mark my words. Miss Emma Skye, please take the stand. Looks like Chadworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my name is Emma, Emma Sky. My occupation, I'm Lana's little sister, and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Right. Why the fuck are you still here? Is this correct? Yes, I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Chadworth, please remember, this trial con concerns the murder of Detective Goodman. Is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly is. Well, well okay then. He sure gave in fast. Now... Please testify about what happened to you two years ago. The trip to yesteryear has finally begun. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. Phoenix, just, just you know, mosey on over to Chadworth's side and you can be his assistant like Emma was to you. Just, you know, just, you know, time to hit the dusty trail and just like, you know, go over there and just be like, yeah, yeah, tell him, tell him Chadworth, tell him. Go, go, go on. It's your moment. Two years ago. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. What if they both yelled objection at the same time? That would be fucking awesome, wouldn't it? A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me, but I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. The man raised up his knife and, and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. 
Good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. Oh, I see. That's understandable. However, please tell me, Mr. Chadworth, what does this testimony have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? Everything. That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. You've got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. Hmm, very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But we, we, she gave us up. We're not the defense. We're not here. Judge. Uji. Yo. Uji. Yo. What are we doing? Kangaroo Court. We're, we're not here anymore. Two, two years ago, the defendant was a detective at the police department, correct? Yes. She was second in command under then Deputy Chief of Police Gant. My sister. She was the best detective ever. Hmm, yes, I remember. Deputy Chief Gant and Miss Sky used to be quite the pair. I believe they shared the same office. That's right. I'd always sit at my sister's desk. And dream about playing that organ. Oh, the organ was already in there before he was even chief of police. So, wait, this this room just has an organ? If you play a really creepy song, does a trap door open and you go downstairs into the basement where Umbrella Corp has some bullshit grenade launcher? Like, what What the? What do you mean it had an organ? Or I wanted to play it that day. The police, the police department and the prosecutor's office held a ceremony that day. Lana promised to take me to a dinner after she finished her work. And then came running in and took- Shit. Shit. A man. Yes, Joe Dark. He was a... a serial killer. Joe Dark was brought in for questioning on the day of that ceremony. We were desperate to get anything on him that would lead to an arrest. Somehow he went on a fucking rampage, killing multiple people in a chain killing, like it was a game of fucking Tetris attack, your honor. He killed one person, and then that he was saw by another person, and he killed them, and he just kept going, but no one saw a fucking thing, because if anyone saw him, he would kill them. He's like an SCP fucking anomaly, your honor. If anyone sees him killing somebody, he also kills them. When he saw his chance, he fled the room, right? Upon fleeing the room, Dark proceeded to take the elevator. He must have been in a panic because the elevator was going up. Then he ran into Sky in Gant's office. There was a lot of noise coming from outside, so I... opened up the door to have a look. That's when I saw him. Neil Marshall rescued me. What was the prosecutor doing there? That day, there were two people present during Dark's questioning. Deputy Chief Damon Gantz and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Almost forgot about Gantz. Really? Neil Marshall just ha had just received the King of Prosecutors Award. Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. Hmm, I assume that would also be why he was first to run after Dark. When Dark grabbed me, I, I thought I was as good as dead. And that's when Prosecutor Marshall came running in. I, I don't clearly remember what happened then, but but I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on dark just then. The lights went out. The, the lights? It was just about this time of year. There was a terrible storm going on and lightning struck nearby. So the electricity went out and everyone who was in the elevator started suffocating. Oh, w wait a minute. If it was pitch dark in that room. You shouldn't have been able to see anything, right? Hey, yeah, judge! Yo, whoa! Stay in your fucking lane! Right, but just then, lightning flashed out again outside. That sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind, and unbeknownst to me, it was actually this magic marker drawing that was put up against the window that was not a stained glass window, so the light went through it, and it projected that in through the room, and I thought that's what was happened, but Gant, who has control of the weather, just like Von Karma could control earthquakes, had controlled the lightning, and it gave me that image, because he planned for this, and it was going to happen. I, hmm, I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. The detective? Yes, Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Hear more. So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago. Yes, that's what's so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw. Yes, but at the time, the words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. A picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? All right, so that's that, That's the picture she drew. Okay, all right, good. All right, it, it wasn't It wasn't fucking lightning projection. This, this, this picture the witness drew, I believe it has a very important meaning. But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Uh, the picture was drawn on the evidence. Hmm, witness, would you mind if we added the statement to your testimony? Y yes, Your Honor. I drew a picture of that scene, scene once, but it seems to have been lost. 
You drew a picture of the scene you witnessed, right? Yes, I wanted to do everything I could to help the investigation. I can still see it now, whenever I close my eyes. That's strange. I took, I took over the case after Prosecutor Marshall died, yet I never received any picture. Perhaps the witness is mistaken. But I did draw it, I swear. I'm not just imagining it. He gave me a piece of the evidence list to draw the picture on, and then the picture was so incriminating, there's a clue in there, so he had to take it away. So it was like, whoops, guess this evidence list has to go in the garbage, fuck this! And, and, and that's how the problem started. Could have made a photocopy, but no, no, fuck it, no, this has to go at this picture that Emma drew, that reminds me. I guess I should check the evidence again. Well, anyway, let's continue. This scene that, that imprinted an image in your mind, can you please describe it to us? Or maybe just draw it fucking again? That, the man. The man raised up his knife and, and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. <gasps> but, but he was stabbed in the back. Do, 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 do. That must have been a real shock. Even now, when I close my eyes, I can still see it just as clearly. Tell us, what were you doing at that moment? I believe you testified that Joe Dark was holding you hostage. When lightning struck and the lights went out, Mr. Marshall jumped on Dark. I was thrown aside, and the two began wrestling each other. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I was watching them. Pretty sure. Pretty sure means you're not sure. Emma doesn't have any reason to lie. But Lana sure does. I need to get Emma to tell me as much about this as she can. There's a lot of evidence in this trial. All right, so we don't we don't have a picture or anything of him uh, being um, stabbed in stabbed in the back. Chadworth. This little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And yet, you would insist on deny, de denying its existence? Whoa, why are we blaming Chadworth for this, Phoenix? He just doesn't know where it is. Fe Phoenix, what the hell? Or is this part of the flirting? Huh? Hey, I'm not the bad guy. Yeah, right? What the fuck? All I'm saying is that as the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. Uh, also, I'm confused about art. I could never draw. My gigantic hands meant I could never hold it. That may well be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold, this is uh, the evidence list for the SL9 incident. Turn the paper over, Your Honor. Please turn it over, Your Honor. <laughs> huh, turn it over. Turn it. Oh, ah, hmm, wish I could read. What's this? Yes, what is that? Hey, that's that's the picture I drew. Turn it 90 degrees, Your Honor. Hmm, indeed. Two men appear to be wrestling here. What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Me? Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. Huh. These lists. They're... They're different from each other. What? It would appear, Mr. Chadworth, that the evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. You can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. Chadworth, how did you not notice that there was a fucking torn mark on the page that you were given? What do you mean? This is this. Oh, this is shorter than most. Did he bring up the, the tear? I don't think he did, did he? What? How did you not notice that the paper was torn? What the fuck? How are you going to court? Oh, whoa, whoa. Is this been torn you're on? I don't know where the fuck it is. Like, what, what, what? As soon as you see Mr. Chadworth, this quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half of the evidence in that case ever reached you, and you were just too fucking stupid to know. What? What? Order, order. But, Miss Sky, why did you draw your picture on the back of such an important list? Because that's what Detective Goodman handed me in the questioning room, Your Honor. We were trying to save paper, so it's like, it's gonna be evidence, so just put it on the back. There we go, wait a minute. If this list was torn in half, then that means... There's another half of that picture, Your Honor. Oh, you're right, Mr. Wright. Your eyes are bulging from your head. If the evidence list was torn in half... Then there might be more- No! 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 Oh, yes, that's quite conceivable, Mr. Chadworth. It's possible, let's see. I never looked at the other side. Is something wrong? 
Do you even have to ask? Sorry, Your Honor. There is indeed something drawn on the back of my list. It's that... that thing. The... That... that's... that thing. That, that, that thing that was dancing in the evidence room. Clearly this act of vandalism is the work of a certain chief of detectives. I guess he was out of scrap paper. Evidence list restored and updated to the court record. Oh, hmm, uh, very well. Witness, will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? Huh? Uh oh, y y yes sir, your honor. What's wrong with Emma? She seemed to be thinking about something when she was looking at the picture. Emma's picture. This is a picture I just used ago. Okay, enjoy this music. I need to take puppies out. And then we'll be done until the uh, the stream's over. Or until the PS5 event starts, I think. Um, take a short break, hopefully, for that. All right, we'll be right back.
All right, has anyone gotten any uh, ads since joining the stream? You should get one when you first join, maybe? I don't know how it works actually, but has anyone got any after they've showed up? Like, longer than a few minutes. <sighs> no? Okay. Looks like um, none of you have been selected for it or they haven't rolled it out very well yet or I don't know, let's see. Anyway, uh, how's the challenges going? Ooh, you also almost got the one million done. All right, all right, let's continue. This picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright all I could see were shadows. Okay, is, is that thing drawn on the back relevant? How is how on earth? Why can't I turn this anymore? So is that the top of the window? God, I wish I could see his room again. Shit. Can I turn it? There's no way that this was just like vandal. Like, who who would sketch something? Well, it's this game. Who would sketch something on the fucking uh, on the list? This picture says exactly what I saw in that instant. It's like a photograph. Hmm, to think a flash of lightning could burn such an image in your mind. Literally. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Well, I don't see any contradictions here. This clearly shows Joe Dark about a murder prosecutor Neil Marshall. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Um, I think I drew it two or three days later. At first, I, w I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During that time, the investigation team was reorganized. Detective Goodman was placed in charge under the direction of Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Two or three days later, the memory should have still been fresh in her mind. Eh, excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? Flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. So at the time, you didn't know it was Mr. Marshall who had come to your rescue. No, I couldn't see him clearly. The lightning was so bright, and I was knocked to the floor. You were knocked to the floor. Under the table. Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Mr. Marshall jumped on him, I was knocked away. I turned around. And that's when the lightning flash. All right, so that's that's the window behind. I don't see any blue badger bullshit, but if we look up. Poor Emma, I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. What happened after the lightning flashed? After that, I must have fainted. You mean you didn't see the actual murder take place? No, I I'm sorry. The flash of lightning only drove the off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation understandably caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? What? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. <laughs> anyway, this picture. I love that they can't they uh they can't ignore their natures. They're back and forth. Sorry for asking so many times, but are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course, this is the exact scene. It wasn't influenced by in any way from your talks with the, with the detectives. 
Are you insinuating we somehow manipulated her, her memory, Mr. Wright? No, no, of course not. I better watch out, or he might find some way to, to cut my salary. Salary cutting noises. I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detectives, so I don't think anyone's story would have influenced me. They didn't say a word to me for three days. Not at all. Two, three days, no one asked me any questions or said anything or told me who died or anything. I was completely silent, radio silent. No one came up to me. Not even my sister. Mr. Wright, is there something that's bothering you about this, this picture? Yeah, the fucking blue badger. Uh-huh. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted on in her mind. And yet, there's clearly a contradiction here. Is there? Okay, game. What do you want from me? Do you want it? It's like there's, there's no. She didn't draw the windows, or, or, or what? Or like what? What do you want? I don't, I don't see anything weird about this. So like the game is like want some bullshit or. This evidence clearly reveals- Oh, okay. How exactly are these evidence? They aren't, aren't they? Not at all. Mr. Wright, just fast over for making his action. Okay. I thought it wanted me to point something out in, in the picture, and that's how I got the picture up. Okay, so there's something that refutes this picture. Alright, is it the knife? Is Does it say somewhere how Marshall died? That says it was um, stabbed in the back, right? Single stab wound, piercing heart, lung assessment, died from blood loss under 10 minutes, weapon found, wound was missing tip. And it says right here, um, stabbed in the back. But it doesn't say that in the autopsy report. That's kind of weird. Okay, is that it? Or does it want something different? Okay, that's it. All right. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this picture the witness drew is out of date. Here's the updated witness picture. Who draw that? A witness. Hmm, yes. Mm, uh, very good. Very good, Phoenix. Uh, Chadworth, how do you respond? Contains a blatant contradiction. What? But st I still remember it like just like it was yesterday. Well, Mr. Wright, perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction for us. What part of this picture contradicts the, the report? Oh, for fuck's sake. W well, it could be it, the position of it. The stab going into the, the thing. Well, this picture, like... Like, he could turn him with his hand and stab him in the back in the last second. I don't know. What do you want from me? This is weird. Do you want the position? Or Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, my God. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to guess it's the position. Fuck. Nope. Um, I think it's, uh, this part here. Hmm, I don't see what's strange about that. That's because the drawing stinks. <laughs> this is right, how could you? The act of making an innocent girl cry should warrant the death penalty. Make a girl cry, that's not gonna fly. I guess he means I shouldn't shift the blame to others. Hmm, yes, well, so long as the defense has learned his lesson. I'd better take another look at that autism report in this picture. Mr. Wright. Perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction for us. What part of this picture contradicts the autopsy report? N none of it contradicts the autopsy report. The the stab hasn't happened yet. It's it's like he's gonna stab him in the ch it, it's her her testimony contradicts it. She says she saw him get stabbed in the chest or whatever, right? It was a stab in the chest. Alright, how do I go back and see the autopsy report? Oh, uh, congrats on getting the yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats. All right, so if it's not the position. And it's not his position. Is it just that the stab, therefore it's the knife? That's all I can say. But that, that doesn't contradict that the knife isn't going in it yet. The contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife that the man is holding. Okay, look closely, you can see its tip is... It's 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 a it's a kid's drawing, Phoenix. It's representative of the knife. N no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no game, no, no. Even, even I don't want to look, have to closely see that, Mr. Wright. But Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. See the murder weapon? The tip is broken too. If I recall, the tip of the knife was found off broken in the victim's body. It was the inclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was the murderer. But that happened after he was stabbed. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. And where, pray tell, could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not yet be broken. But this was taken after the stab, Phoenix. He, he, he stabbed him, and then he pulled the knife out for another stab, and that's when the lightning flashed. And then he realized mid-stab, oh, he's dead. Uh, no need to, to waste any calories doing another one. I'm very conscious of that. All right, mm, yeah, apparently he was the judge. So, oh, well, yes, N no need to waste any energy. Ah, what's the meaning of this? Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. Maybe it was a different knife tip from a completely different, uh, you know, unrelated injury. The, there was already a stab from the last time he was stabbed. And it was cut off and it sealed over and he just so happened to stab in that same place. Whip out the fucking metal detector. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. Hmm, that's right. What does that mean? The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. It just means that it's a child's drawing, and that was just representative of the shape of the knife that came in. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is, mis is mistaken. Objection. Don't think I said that right. That's why I asked her so many times if she was sure she remembered correctly. Objection! Objection! I believe you were annoyed at the time, but she was sure she remembered correctly. But there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Objection. Not so fast, Mr. Chadworth. There's another explanation. What? So, so, assuming it was Gant, which I think it has to be at this point, did Gant just hold the body up with the knife posed, like, in front of Emma, in the dark, until the lightning flashed to get this in her memory? Look, look, it happened. All right. All right, it flashed. All right, good on. All right, we're done. Now to move on to the next stage. Like, what have you forgotten already about a little something called falsified evidence? You're treading on thin ice, right? All I'm saying is that this broken knife tip might be the piece of evidence that was forged. You can't deny the possibility. No. Ah. Order, order, order. Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Um, yeah, your honor. Please allow me to once again go over the events that took place at the day of the, the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutor's Award at the ceremony, Neil Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with Damon Gant. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It is my belief that somewhere in this story there is a lie. Hmm. I... I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. There must have been another broken knife. Hmm, what are their chances of being two broken knives? Another broken knife besides Joe Dark's. Could there have been one? Uh, there is another one. If the witness is adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away by a simple observational error. Mr. Wright. In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. 
I assume that that you have some information about this other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. And the photograph? The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here, inside this picture. This is a picture of the award ceremony. This is a picture of the award ceremony. Ah, ah. What is it, Mr. Chadworth? It's the broken murder weapon. Notice the award Prosecutor Marshall is holding. That's a broken knife. As we earlier concluded, the knife in the drawing was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was in all likelihood from this award. Order, order, order. Neil Marshall was awarded King of Prosecutors that day. As an award, he was given this broken shield and knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in his danger. How, how did he, what? How did he, like, it, it just comes apart? Did he, wouldn't it just be one big fused piece of metal? Would it even be, would it be heavy? Did, did Chadwar say it was heavy? How did, where are we going game? But that, that can't be. Oh, and why not Mr. Chadworth? Mine did not have a knife. Because if the King of Prosecutors award knife was the murder weapon, then the murderer and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean... This man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. Oh! Well, yeah. Of course. Hmm, but the Prosecutor was the one that was the one who actually died. Yes, but did you ever see Joe Dark and Neil Marshall in the room together? That's true. What's going on here? <laughs> it seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. Wait, I, I remember now. I remember everything. Oh, witness. Mr. Chadworth. What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? Hmm, his list. The one with that picture scribbled on the back. I knew it. I thought for a second that like it was it was the trophy, but it can't be. Like there's there's no other part of it, right? This picture. I'm the one who drew it. What? You drew that. That's right. The list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew this picture. All this time I've been trying so hard to forget. I must have locked this part deep away deep inside me. Hmm, perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness's testimony. Would you please tell us what you've recalled, Miss Guy? Yes, Your Honor. First the knife mix-up, and now the blue badger. This should be interesting. Emma's recollection. When I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and rushed toward both of them. I think I knocked away the man with the knife. Just then there was another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw the blue... <sighs> what? It descended from the clouds. It phased through the window like a ghost and was like, I'm the fucking blue badger. I'm here to set everything right. And then it just went into like a whirlwind sprint around the room and just fucking killed everyone. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. But this, this is certainly most unusual. Try impossible. The chief of detectives hadn't even designed him until this year. That's true. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Oh, huh, yes. Well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. Let's get Gumshoe in. Stop, please. Don't pursue this any further. Aw, oh, damn. She just shoved Emma off the stand. Lana. Hmm, what's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Why can't you just leave it at that? Chief Prosecutor Skye. 
We've already come to we've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. Even though you're the only one that has a turnaround sprite. Oh, silence. The defense will now begin its cross-examination. Bailiff, please detain the defendant. It seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter. What the fuck is Gant doing out here just now? When you say, that man, I assume you're for to Joe Dark. Yes, at least I think it was him. You think? All I could really see were shadows. The power outage that immediately preceded the incident. It also document. It's also is also the is also documented in the prosecutor's officer reports. So then you. I panicked and rushed toward both of them. Ah, but the blue badger is battery powered, so it could have survived the thunderstorm. You idiot! You fucking moron! It wasn't designed yet. G fucking gumshoe just made it the other day. Why would you do something so dangerous? What else could I have done? He was about to stab Mr. Marshall. All oh, the blue badger can time travel. She seems convinced that Dark was the one holding the knife. But as we've just theorized, Mr. Marshall was the one holding the knife. Well, I didn't know that at the time. When that dark guy knocked me down, all I could think was, I've got to help that other person. I think I knocked away the man with the knife. What do you mean, you think? It, it all happened so fast, and I was in shock. I don't remember everything clearly. What I did, it's, it's all kind of a blur. Miss Skye was almost killed before she was witness to a murder about to take place. With so much happening in a matter of seconds, a little disorientation is only natural, but it therefore makes everything she says suspicious and completely inadmissible. I saw the man about to stab the other person who I thought was Mr. Marshall. I knew I had to stop the man with the knife. Hmm, what you did was very brave, young girl. So then, what happened next? I saw the blue badger. Just then there was another flash of lightning and that's when I saw the blue badger. Are you sure about this? Of course, see? I even drew a picture of him here. But, it was the chief of the detectives who thought of this hideous beast. And that was just this year. The blue badger didn't exist two years ago. It's all quite verifiable. Plagiarism, oh yes. I know it sounds strange. I was surprised too when I saw him at the police department. I had this nagging feeling that I'd seen him before somewhere. Okay, seen him or just his silhouette? Now I finally remember. Oh brother, just when you thought you had you, you had to think. Oh brother, just when you thought that thing had caused enough commotion. Hmm. Tell us, where in the room did you see him dancing? He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. Okay, so you just saw his silhouette then, his shadow. So you mean you didn't actually see his face with its winning its winning smile and all? That's right, but I still remember it. He had three cre creepy horns. This is pointless. That thing couldn't have possibly... Does he have three creepy horns? Uh, the witness must be mistaken. That may well be. But what's important is what caused her to think she saw what she did. Oh, and I suppose you have an explanation. If so, then by all means, please tell us what the shadow really was. What was it Emma saw when that lightning flashed? Who this blue badger really... I just might know. The blue badger hadn't even been dreamt up when Emma drew this picture, yet she's certain she saw its shadow. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the defense's belief that on that fateful day two years ago, there was bullshit afoot. There indeed was something that looked similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Mr. Wright... Oh, it's a judge in this room. Very well, Mr. Wright. What is it that the witness saw in that instant? Please show us this mysterious blue badger look-alike. Okay, so the the trophy or the the urn? Something was sitting in it in the top. I thought it might have been the trophy. 
I'm gonna say the urn. The mysterious blue badger was in fact this. But that's er what what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar. But Mr. Wright, that doesn't look anything like the blue badger. Indeed it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain jar. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? Hmm, our viewpoint. I've got to show them. The correct angle to look at this from. It's broken. Dude, I don't fucking know. Okay, so the, these things are the different parts, and one's broken, so how do we- fuck. How do we rotate it better than that? Is that one broken? That one's broken for sure. So, we have to get them off to the, off to the side? And something was sticking out of it, maybe? Or sticking like, like that? They're all on the same side, right? That one's sticking out more. So would it be like like that? No. It's not very good. Is it upside down? Like that? No, it has to be like that, right? Like that? I'm not baiting, I just don't see it very clearly. I don't know how clear it wants it to be. Like, I can see this shape being, look, there's the thing, that one, that one, that one, like obviously these match, but th that doesn't look anything fucking like it to me. Like, is it like that? Like that That doesn't look like it either to me. How, how do you get the curves? Like that, here we go, here we go. Fuck, is it like that? This isn't right. I've got to make it look more like the badger. All right. I'll only run the hands and the case hindered on the witness's drawing. If Mr. I can't match the shape the witness drew, we cannot accept this claim. Got to find just the right angle. Maybe I should rotate it vertically a bit more, horizontally. Come on, Mr. I, you can do it. Got to show them the correct angle. Look at this from. All right. I don't. I don't fucking know. Okay, so those for sure are, are are the things and it's broken so one's missing. Okay, and this part is is the jester's hat right there. Okay, so Does that curve match? Like a little bit but not really does it match upside down? Again that one curves in but that one doesn't It can't be from the side like this because that doesn't that doesn't match with that one, right? Does it? No, I don't think so. And it can't be up here because otherwise this would break it. So it has to be like this, right? It has to be like that. Does this one count as it? Can't be part unless something was in it. Fucking hell, man. Let 
How do we do it before? We went like this, right? This isn't relevant because it was shadow, right? That can't be its mouth. Unless. No, it was in shadow for sure. And then this was used to kill someone afterwards? How did that work? That's what we did last time, right? And it didn't work. That's sticking out, so it doesn't match. Could it be this and there was something else in it? I don't think it would do that, would it? There was something in the vase? There was anything in the vase in the picture. To get on on the, the window floating outside obviously has to be one on top. This is how we did it last time, right? And it didn't go through? He, he didn't like it like that? I don't think he liked it like that. This round part looks like the bottom to me of this. But then this is the problem. How does that work? Is Was this the top part? Like that? That was it. That was the top one? That looks more closer to it than that part, than the broken part. Fucking hell, the angles. Yeah, that looks that looks the closest to it. So that's it. Is it does it need to be a little further down or what? Round eh, kind kind of interior there, kind of with the inner thing. Yeah, okay. Hmm. But it doesn't use the third handle, so that can't be it. No. Do 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 it has to be like this I guess do 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 okay I don't think this can be visible in the bottom because it's round so like that that looks pretty close does it need to be more up to make the the, the, the triangle of the hat at the top that's gotta be close enough In hell. Really? Objection. What is it then? Okay, I'll try a couple more times to see if that's maybe it's not the right angle. And then we'll we'll see. Is that even more like that? Alright, try that.
Okay, that's way off. There's no way it can be that. I don't think this can be visible here. I don't think that can be visible. Maybe? Maybe that's okay? Fuck it, let's try it. This isn't right. <sighs> that has to be it, right? It has to Oh my god! Maybe these two need to be in like the- like the- the squares to the left? Alright, that one's in that square. That, they're both inside their squares. I can't tell- What do you mean you can't tell if I'm trolling? That, that- that- is this not it? Is this not it? Like... What- what do you mean? Does it need to be reversed? On the, on the opposite? Like that? No, I don't think so. This this has to be it. If it's the other way, then it doesn't look it doesn't look aligned properly. To to get that thing up there, it looks all fucked up. There's no way. It has to be that. It looks nothing like it now. Okay, that looks pretty close, but I don't think that's high enough. And this isn't low enough. So it needs to be like that more, but it told me to fuck off last time I did this. Well, is this a miracle or what? No one can possibly deny it if it starts resemblance to the blue badger. No, it can't be. And the and the chief of police, the the not the chief of police, the guy saw that drawing and that gave him the idea for the blue badger, or is it just a big coinky dink? Order, order. The defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witnessed on the day of the crime was actually this. Objection. Although we all enjoyed Mr. Wright's dramatic performance, one question remains. What's your point? What do you mean? So that badger thing was actually just a jar. That doesn't change anything. Objection. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Chadworth. You see, it changes everything. 
Indeed. Very well, then. Please tell us. What's different now that we know the witness saw this jar? The location, the murder weapon, the murderer. Okay, well, it can't be the murder weapon because the location. The location's fine. It can't be the murder weapon, even though someone, it does appear someone was killed with that jar. He, he really was killed with, <coughs> <coughs> with a stab to the back. Like the, the thing was in him. Like that's what the autopsy report said. So I don't think that's it. I think it's, I think it's the murderer. Allow me to take these in turn. At the moment of the murder, the witness saw this jar. At a very specific angle, I might add, Mr. Wright. Yes, well, knowing this, where could she have seen this jar? Hmm, where? The location of the jar is known in, shown in a picture taken on the day of the crime. It's on a shelf in the office of Damon Gant. But the body was found lying near Lana Sky's desk. The witness testified so herself. Yes, and it is these two facts that reveal what actually transpired. You see, the struggle between Dark and Marshall could not take place in Lannis Guy's office. It happened on the other side of the room, and Chief Gansa- It's the same room, though! I- oh, oh, It's the same room! Objection! Are you implying the murderer moved the victim's body? From Damon Gant's office to Lana Skye's office. Yes. Why would he do that? There's no reason. He just felt like it. Exactly. If there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. The only logical conclusion is that there was a reason. Hmm, yes, uh, that makes sense. Alright, I'm Chadworth, how do you respond? Do you know do you know that reason do you know what that reason was, Miss Wright? No fucking clue, Your Honor. I finally figured it out. So this is why Lana tried to stop the trial. It's too late to quit now, though. Please recall the witness's testimony. She said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. In the next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. Now tell me, what could have sent the jar flying? That would have had to have been the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may draw your attention to this picture once more... If the man was knocked in the direction of the shelf the jar was sitting on, what would he have hit? Uh, ah! Oh, the suit of armor, holding a very sharp and dangerous looking sword. Yes. And since the man... What? But how did how did she see the jar at that angle then? To make the blue badger. Did that happen like a, afterwards and she'd been in the same pit? And since the man who was knocked into the armor was hearing I thought that I thought we were going to do that. I didn't think we were going to the fucking armor man. And since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife, he would have had to have been Miss Neil Marshall wielding the King of Prosecutors trophy. No, Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking. Yes, there is another possibility what actually transpired in that room. Hmm, another possibility. Sorry, I didn't really pay much attention to this now because I've been talking I've been thinking about the jar. Of course, the perpetrator would have no idea, but nevertheless, I I don't know if I can go through through this. Okay, so basically, when Emma pushed them, she pushed Neil Marshall into into something that killed him, or oh, Mr. Wright, what's the matter? If events took place as the defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. In that moment, assuming the man in the sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall. You mean... Mr. Marshall died because of me? No. Thud. I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. Hmm, so it was a witness who took the victim's life. And then Prusa with her own testimony. 
This is unprecedented. Uh, what? What are you saying? I'm sorry, Miss Sky, but given the circumstances, Joe Dark murdered Prosecutor Marshall. How can you think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin the crime on her? Imagine that coming from you. How did you escape the bailiff? If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out about what I'm in- I'm sorry! How- how was the jar at that angle that she saw it? There's no way she saw that jar making that from this picture. Wasn't someone holding it or something? I don't- I don't understand. How- how- how was- how did that happen? It fell, but how did it- but she drew it on that picture. She was confused and she drew it on the thing? It's just something that stuck in her head? Somehow? She saw it during the flash of lightning, but... They were in front of this, and this had fallen, and it was, like, at a certain angle that she saw it behind them, even though they would be standing and blocking in front of it. Okay, I don't think that makes sense, but okay, let's just roll with it. I don't think that makes sense, but alright. Was to keep anyone from figuring out whether... It does make sense, though. It makes perfect fucking sense, though. I assure you, Mr. Shepard, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you hope to save anyone, believe your insane alle... If you have hope to have anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Tell me, do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister killed Neil Marshall? The evidence? I'm willing to bet you don't. Hmm, yes, it certainly would be difficult to prove this with evidence, especially since it was all fucking destroyed. If we don't have evidence, then we'll have to rely on testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the Institute are dead. We certainly can't get dead people to testify. This has all been a wild goose chase from the beginning. I mean, well, if, if fucking Maya was here, maybe. Oh, 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 but we can. Humph. Touche, Miss Sky. Of course. That only leaves us with one possibility. Even though we were about to convict you just on testimony with no evidence whatsoever. It turns out that we can't do it this time for fucking reasons. You mean, there's still another possibility? Hmm, what do you mean, Chadworth? I mean, the possibility that the victim has left us a message. For better or for worse, Miss Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left behind a, the name of the person who took his life, in one manner or another. That's... that's impossible. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, this is the only possibility left to you. A message from the deceased. Does such a message exist? I've got to think back to the court record. The real murderer's name that the victim may have left behind. Is in the oven. Okay, so it's it's the leather thing with 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 the fingers. This reeks of bullshit, man. Something's going on here. There's no way. This message from the deceased is already in our possession. Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister's a murderer? Murderer. Do not be mistaken, Miss Sky. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There is only one thing we seek: the truth. No matter how painful it may be. Hmm, now that Mr. Wright. Please show us the piece of evidence that conveys a message from the deceased. Okay, so it has to be the the, the this. Found she's gonna save evidence or something Okay, so something reeks here. Why would why would why would he let us take this? What the fuck is Gant doing? I was starting to doubt and that Gant was just just bullshit, but no. No, I'm trusting my instincts. This is bullshit, but let's present it. This is the message from the sea. But then why aren't you asking why did he just let us take it? Hmm, right. Now then. This is the message from the judge. Oh. I guess that wasn't right. If a dead person left behind, it would have to be in written form. That's the only logical conclusion. You better be careful. You might wind up deceased yourself. Let's try this again. Okay, so it was bullshit. Alright, I thought that for sure. It was like, hey, it was it was her. Look. Now then, now then, Mr. Wright, please show us the piece of evidence that goes to Mr. Nazi. Okay, I have no idea. I better save it, actually. Can I save it? It won't let me save it. 
It won't let me save it. Okay. Has to be in written form. Okay. Well, it's not this. Where's the line of the evidence? Okay, it starts on here. It's there's nothing written there. There's nothing written on the autopsy report, I don't think. Fell for the Jordan Kins fall two days ago. The PlayStation event started? I thought it was starting at, at 4 p.m. Eastern. It is 4 p it's not 4 p.m. Eastern. It's 3 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Red stains as you blood tracing in some years ago, then fry my students, so I still reading on it. Okay, that's the only thing that, that looks that looks like writing. At all. But that's nothing. That's that's nothing that says there. There's there's nothing on this. It's not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. Is there anything else before I fucking hail Mary on that? Is there something on the bloody on on the knife? Oh, you just saw it said Emma. No, I'm I'm just bullshitting from the Day and Rampa case. That's what that's what happened when there was some blood writing in that case. I don't see anything here. I just remember someone saying that that uh, it it looked like writing or something like that, and that's the only thing that we have that has. Oh, let's try it. Let's see. This is the message left by the deceased. Hmm, this is that blue badger from before, right? Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? If that thing could, I'm sure it would. Looks like everyone's forgotten. This is just a jar. A message was left here on the surface of this jar. What do you what do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Yes, but notice, for some reason the blood on some of the fragments was not wiped away. Yes, there's oh yes, there's a line here drawing blood. So what, so what you're saying is these dots were once lines. Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used a few pieces of precious moments left to him to leave behind a message. One that someone apparently wiped away. The blood must have seeped into the jar where the lines changed directions. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points. And the victim's message will become apparent. I mean, I got it, but that's... Fucking, like, like what? N no. But I only got it from process of elimination. Oh, I missed right. What kind of message did the victim leave for us? Send nudes. Your honor, I believe these blood names will reveal blood stains will reveal us the answer. I've got to connect these dots to make letters. There's only one thing the victim would have written, given the circumstances. His murderer's name. L E O N <gasps> Leon! Oh my god! My god! 
Alright, how do I connect them? Alright. Oh, it won't let me do that. Oh, this is finicky as fuck. It's the defense attorney's duty to prove their client's innocence. That's why all I've been thinking about is saving Lana. After all my efforts, I never thought it would turn out like this. Emma. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. Okay, but then who killed Goodman? Oh, Emma did that too! It was just Emma wearing Linus' clothes. Of whom? Of all people. She may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. But, like, she didn't know what was going on. Someone was going to stab someone else. And they were in, like, a defensive pose. They were done. She was saving someone's life. Surely she's not going to go to prison for the. Oh, wait, it's this court. Seaworthy, can't say I didn't warn you. Damn, it's a good thing that she didn't have a really long name, huh? Esmeralda. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Chief Gant, do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor in the case, were you not? Ah, yes, Worthy. Because of you, an innocent man was sentenced to death. Not only that, but you used forged evidence to ensure his conviction. What do you mean, an innocent man? Didn't he do the rest of the serial killings? <laughs> but Joe Dark really was a serial murderer. That's undeniable. Yeah, there were so many people that saw him kill, kill, run over that man, and then kill that bystander, and then kill the person on the bike, and then kill the kid that saw the bike, and then kill the ice cream truck that was selling ice cream to the kid, and then kill the ice cream supplier that was just outside the ice cream truck, and then kill the taxi driver next to it, and then and then he killed the president. No one. It was just went on forever. Killed half the population of the world. I'm afraid that's not important. Didn't you know we aren't defenders of justice? What? We are merely keepers of, of the law. Sentencing a man to death is no light matter. Even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence forgery, ultimately the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. Despite what anyone may say, this fact cannot be denied. What's going on at the prosecutor's office? They might have sent- oh shit, might have sent this man to death, I think? How can he just stand there like it wasn't his fault? Order! 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 Some food, I'm starving. Let's go! Skip the dishes! Who wants poutine? The gavel's pounding fell on deaf ears. Unable to settle the crowd, the judge declared a recess. Where this trial is headed, no one knows. The PS5 is on- it's not! It starts in 50 minutes! It might just be doing some pre-stuff. It starts at 4 p.m. Eastern, right? Okay, do we have time to finish this in 50 minutes? Probably not, right? So what do, what do we want to do? I need to pee, too. What are we going to do? How how important is... We do? We do have time? We, we can do this in 50 minutes. I, even if I pee? God, no. Go for... What? All right, I'm getting conflicting answers here. Nope. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yep. No. What? Like... Wasting time right now. Eh, fuck it. I'm gonna go pee, and if we have time, we'll, we'll switch over to PlayStation 5 event, but if not, we'll just finish this. The PlayStation 5 event isn't that important, right? Fuck it. I'll be back in two minutes.
<sighs> It'll just be God of War 5 and Elden Ring that's announced anyway. Ferry 25, 1206, District Court, Defendant Lobby number 2. Sorry, Chatterworth. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Oh, don't worry about it. This is my problem, not yours. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Thought you could use a snack. I brought some pickles. Oh, guess I am. I'll come back later. Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? Hey, Lily. Gorsh. Thank you. You got a lot of nerve, pal, making a detective run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. I take Atlanta's having you run errands again. Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal. Here, she asked me to give this to you if there was a break in today's trial. It's evidence law for dummies. Evidence law. Chatworth was talking about this the other day. You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems that we've been breaking that law every trial every single time. You could at least study some evidence law, really. There are, in fact, three rules of evidence law. <gasps> the chief prosecutor also wanted me to give you a message. A message? She said, if you're planning to take him on, you're going to need this book. Him. I guess I'll need to give this book a thorough read. Let's throw it at him. The two rules of evidence law. Damn, two rules. Doesn't look like that book will do you any good now, though. All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Huh? Haven't you figured it out yet? Why I'm still sitting in that prosecutor's seat, despite all these allegations being thrown at me. Mr. Chadworth, the real trial today hasn't begun yet. What? Well, rip PlayStation 5 event, what else is there left to do? Your credibility's been all... Credibility's been all but ruined with this forged evidence you weren't aware of. Emma Sky found out she's unwittingly caused a man's death, and now you're telling me you want to do more? You've got to be kidding me, pal. How did you know all that when you've been going and getting a book or whatever? You're missing the point, Detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. That means the real killer is still out there. What? And we're <laughs> what? Miscalculated, and we're going to expose him, no matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. All right. Phoenix and Chadworth together. Let's take them down. Let's go. February 25, 1252, District Court, courtroom number 9. Hmm. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lance Guy. Ms. Chadworth. Yes, Your Honor. The Inquiry Committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. I don't give a shit, Your Honor. Thank you for the news, Your Honor. They can go fuck themselves. Hmm. Yes, well, I am. Normally, this is where the prosecution calls for the witness, but, uh, I am, uh, cough. <coughs> uh, this, this isn't easy to say. Uh, you see, there is, uh, some concern that you, Mr. Chadworth, may have, uh, struck a bargain. You think I may have manipulated the witnesses? Uh, I didn't say that. Uh, just everyone else. It's just, you see, uh, everyone has been, uh, talking, and, uh, uh we don't like you anymore. Uh, very well, Your Honor. I have a solution. Oh, a solution? Yes. See your, see your thumbs in front of you. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, stick them both right up your ass. That being the case, the prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. What? Uh, there's no precedent for what you're proposing. Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement, but a very effective one. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Wright, what do you say? Unbelievable. I say that if, if Chadworth ever stuck a thumb up someone's ass, they would die. Hmm, that's right. Ed Chadworth has found a way to continue the trial. Very well. <laughs> Let's read that book. Mm -hmm. 
No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. That we've break that rule all the time. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. Okay, is that unregistered? Is that is that only for the prosecution? It has nothing to do with with the defense. I don't understand. Oh, that is settled. The uh, defense may now call forth the next witness. Mr. Wright, you do realize this is your last chance. If you call the wrong witness, this trial is as good as over. The defense calls. The time's finally come to bring out the real murderer. Meekins! I think, I think Gant. We're calling Gant, right? Gumshoe. I, I think Gant. Damon Gant. The defense calls Damon Gant to the stand. D D Damon Gant? What does he have to do with anything? As the defendant's partner two years ago, Mr. Gant has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should hear what he has to say about it. Huh? As luck would have it, he should still be in the courthouse. Who? Wh what are we even defending or prosecuting at this point? He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? Oh, yes I do. That makes sense. True. Alright, Bailiff. Please escort Mr. Gant to the stand. Witness, please state your name and occupation. What is this, some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. Your name and occupation, sir. Worthy, are you sure you want to do this? Your name and occupation. So, you want to play hardball, eh? Uh, but please, Mr. Gant. Fine. Fine, my name is Damon Gant. I'm the acting chief of police. Acting? Now then, Chief Gant, the court requests to hear your testimony. Oh, righto. What's the grim face? What's the grim face? First, let's clear up this SL9 incident. Oh, you mean that time when Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh, like what? Like the role you played in all of this. Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. Hope you have a book in your pocket to throw at me. That's my only weakness. Books. You are aware, of course, that a police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Sure. Take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. What? Is that true? Judge, are you hearing this? He's threatening us. Uh, I'm afraid so. The chief of police has the right to refuse to testify. Of course. Such an action carries with it certain risks. Don't worry. I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember, if this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. Very well, I will go along with this. The witness may now begin his testimony. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently she had already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Hmm, huh. is that when Dark was arrested? Him? He was lying on the floor, unconscious. There was no blood on that? Can we go test it? No blood on the floor? Nothing? Oh, we didn't luminol spray his office. Shit, we should have done that while we were there. Fuck! When Emma sent Neil flying, it seems Dark bumped his head. Like Humpty Dumpty. Oh, I see. Everything seems, pr seems pretty clear cut. If the police chief has the right to, ref to refuse to testify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast. As I recall, a ceremony was held at the police department that day. <sighs> yes, that's right. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. After winning his award, Neil was all fired up too. That's probably what spooked Dark and made him run away like that. Was the defendant, Lana Sky, also present in the room? I don't quite remember. At the very least, she wasn't there when Dark ran for her. The long story short, we slipped up, that power arch didn't help either. So the two of you ran immediately after him, right? That's right, but Dark made it to the elevator first, so Neil and I split up. He went upstairs and I went downstairs, I guess you could say. He got lucky. 
What's this about a power outage? Damn, he almost got killed in that elevator when the power went out. He was lucky. Holy shit. Oh, that. The elevator stopped all of a sudden, and I got the shock of my life. Well, probably not as shocked as Neil was when that knife went into his heart, though. <laughs> That's not funny. It's a bit funny. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Could you tell us what you saw? It was a shocking sight. Neil and that serial killer were lying in a heap on the floor, all tangled together. Dark was also lying collapsed on the floor. Yes, apparently he hit his head and was knocked out. Next to them were those two poor girls. Lana and Emma. Who who knocked who knocked Joe out? Lana was cradling Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now, she must have already known what her sister had done. Apparently she had already arranged the crime scene. How can you know that? Because of the victim's body. It had already been moved. Yeah, of course. The, the crime scene was arranged and she was the first one there, so it had to be her. Oh, yes, yeah, not very good. So that means... You found the body near Lana's desk. That's right. I think you said earlier, it was my suit of armor that really stabbed the prosecutor. Yes. Ooh. Any... Isn't that wrong? A any... Anyway. Uh... So you're saying that the forgery had already taken place by the time you had arrived at your office. That's exactly what I'm saying. I can understand how Lana must have felt. But moving the body and hiding evidence are inexcusable no matter what the circumstances, except when I do it. Is that how it really went down? Staring at the witness won't do you any good, Mr. Wright. If you're going to stare at anything, stare at my gigantic, gigantic hand. You'd better, you'd be better off staring at the court record. Worthy, worthy. Always the smooth talker. But which piece of evidence ties Grant, Gant to the forgery? Lana did admit to forging the evidence, but that can't be the whole truth. Why don't we bring up the fact that it was in his safe, or was, like, he, he was in on it helping them, right? Somehow we got to link Gant to the incident. As I recall, Neil and Emma questioned that day. To make a long story short, we slipped out the power out. She didn't help either. When I went to my office about Lana, apparently she already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Okay, so, like that, right? So we're, we're gonna say, like, no... The, the Pete, it was in it was in your locker? The evidence? What? What does it want? Let's save it, because we haven't saved it in a while. Okay, we found... We found this in your locker, this in your desk, and and this in your, in your locker. In your safe, sorry. Is it that you had the evidence list? Half of this was found in Gant's desk? Final fragment found in the Gantt safe. It's gotta be that. Objection! You claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. But I'm afraid that is a claim you cannot back up. Explain yourself. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this jar, for example. Oh, that's the blue badger you showed us earlier. A piece of this jar was discovered in your safe. I haven't known the combination for that safe for, for two years after what happened with Joe Dark. Lana must have put it in there and then changed the combination. I've, I haven't opened it, but I've kept it this whole time. I didn't think it was suspicious at all. Not only that, but the evidence list I presented earlier was actually found inside your desk. Oh, it was found where? You see, Chief Gant, these articles of evidence uncovered in your office are both concrete proof that you also played a part in the illegal investigation. But that, that, that was an illegal search. It doesn't count. Even though every single other search you've done is illegal, now it's relevant. Chief Gant, what's the meaning of this? Oh, here's a defense attorney who may even rival Worthy. So you admit it then, that you were involved in the forgery? Who, me? Or do you mean you? Me? Why would I have anything to do with that? Well, you were the one who snuck into my office when you found this evidence. Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. Defense attorneys can, all, can, do, can do so too. Isn't that right, Rhino? However, Detective Gumshoe is present during the investigation. Worthy, my boy. Not even detectives are exempt from the law. Rest assured, Dick will receive his due punishment. Basically, what I'm arguing for right now is that all evidence ever collected at any place ever is could be forged. All evidence can be thrown out. 
even if there were multiple people there when we saw it. Fucking everything. The whole justice system is gonna come crumbling down with my argument right now. We will what? If Detective Gumshoe's salary drops any further, he'll end up paying the work. Oh, huh. yes, well, in light of the detective's presence. Please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office. And the relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene. Oh, my, my. Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. You're never gonna go swimming again, OG. Evidence and forgery. Let's see, what was it now? A jar fragment and a list? For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. Huh, that's right. We're going for that? Yes, Your Honor. When investigating the crime scene. Did you plant that evidence? You should have been more careful to observe pro protocol. You do understand that I am the chief of police, right? There will be there will be consequences. Uh, judge, we did the same thing that we've done every single time ever, and it hasn't been a problem. Oh, oh, oh funny you admit that. Oh, okay, all your cases you worked on are now thrown out. Chowers, get the fucking prison. Oh, indeed. I believe I will press charges, so you won't make the same mistake again. Hmm. My apologies, chief, but would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that? Today as well. You know, uh, it's my birthday. All right, Uji. In return, though. I know, I know. That place, right? Huh? What are these guys telepathic? What? Evidence and forgery. For all I know, you could have planted in my office. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop making these ridiculous allegations. Yes, you, you do have a point. You wouldn't have the guts to do something like that. What? I'll have you know back in the day I once broke into a cattle ranch and tipped... Mr. Wright, what are you saying? Anyway, you can't prove you didn't carry in the evidence, can you? You have proof to the contrary. You're going to need it, need it later. I, I think I read that wrong, sorry. Later? What are you talking about? What else? I'm talking about when Rhino's prints are found. Yes, if they're found inside my safe, they would prove his investigation was illegal. Grr, I've never faced anyone as slimy as this guy. I thought that these rules just weren't applicable in this world, and that's why we weren't wearing gloves and being careful. No, it just turns out we're fucking idiot- I- okay, this is- this is a bit frustrating, but maybe it's on purpose. What do you mean by that? This is all purely hypothetical, of course. But suppose I did place those items in my safe. My spooky safe. Such an act wouldn't necessarily constitute forgery. If concealing evidence found at a crime scene isn't forgery, I'm not thorough through speaking yet, Rhino. It all depends on when the evidence was discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. Wait. Are you saying this jar fragment wasn't discovered in the initial investigation? It would appear not. After all, it wasn't listed in the evidence list. For all we know, it could have suddenly materialized the day after Dark was sentenced. That's ridiculous. Oh, and wouldn't that be convenient? Right. The Chief is talking about a possibility, so long as you can't rule that out. Your remarks, however clever they may be, will only succeed in wasting time. Tell me something I don't know. Come on, Rhino. Calm down, Rhino. Think about it. There's no, no reason I participate in a forgery. How can you look me in the eye and say that? Because I'm innocent. Remember? Who was it that murdered Neil? Oh, I'm not sure I care for the word murder here. But in the end, the person responsible for Mr. Marshall's unfortunate demise was Emma Sky. Well, now do you see? Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. Well, you're all, it was your office. It was messy. Don't you want to clean up? Really, Chief Gant? At the very least, there is one large benefit you've, you've reaped from all this. Oh, I wasn't aware. What is this benefit? That would, of course, be the position you have. Chief of Police. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Resolution of the SL9 incident that secured your promotion to chief. That in itself is sufficient motive. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, Merry Christmas. That's a good one. Huh? Do you really think I'm that incompetent? What do you mean? Even without that case, I was already in line to become the next chief. The resolution of SL9 merely sped up the inevitable a little. Is that true, Chadworth? It's fucking true, yes. He was going to be made chief anyway. Gah. Be careful when pointing that finger, or you might wind up being the one pointed at. 
So that means... There's only one possible motivation for you to commit forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, then you did it for someone else. Don't be silly, Worthy. You know me better than that. I don't give a fuck about anyone else. There are only three people I look out for. Me, myself, and I. There. It's out in the open now. Uji, oh, would you mind if I change my testimony a little? Oh, by all means, please do. I wouldn't be anyone's accomplice if there was nothing in it for me. It. Nothing in it for you. Sorry, but the only person I care about is yours truly. That girl, Lana's little sister, was it? If you think I felt sorry for her, you'd better think again. You're right. You don't feel sorry for anyone. Be tough on crime and tough on people. That's how I was raised. You seem to be lax enough on yourself, though. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's a good one, Worthy. Hmm. Could there have been something in it for him? Given his selfish selfishness, would he have helped someone out? Point out accomplice, no. Okay, usually we have to point something out. True, you might not help out anyone for their sake. But if it would benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. Oh, Mr. Wright, it appears you are positively determined to betray the, the chief as a nice man who likes to lend people a hand. That's not what I mean. <laughs> uh, very well then. Who is this person you believe Chief Gant may have helped to forge evidence? Uh, gum Gumshoe. So it's either Lana or Goodman. Was demoted. Was demoted. We already kind of went through went through Lana, and it didn't go well. But it could be that still. <sighs> I'm gonna say Goodman. Right on, my boy. The look on your face is almost enough to motivate even me to help you out. Hope you understand that's not a compliment. Oh, it wasn't him. Okay, so we just want to go down the Lana loop again? Chief Gant would have wanted something in return. He must have wanted to be able to blackmail the person he helped. Oh, okay. It appears the fence has nothing more to say. Chief, would you please repeat your testimony from the beginning? Alright, sorry, I thought we were going a different route instead of, um. Instead of just repeating with Lana. I hate doing it to repeat all this again to try again. Only Lana got promoted? Yeah, but Bruce was the only other one that kept his job, so... Like, these two got, got knocked down, so the only two that stood to benefit along with him was Goodman and Lana. And we just went through Lana, so it's like, that's just repeating the argument. It's like, th basically this is right going, no you. And so I just thought maybe it was a different angle with Goodman. But no, I guess it's just Lana again. Oh, Chief Prosecutor Lance Guy, the, the, the defendant. I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Who would want to help her more than her own sister, Lana? And as for Chief Gantz, he would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Hmm, self-profit? What do you mean? After the SLI incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed Chief Prosecutor of the Prosecutor's Office. The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gantz. But, but, how would he profit from all this? He would be able to use the chief prosecutor as his puppet. Essentially, he would acquire unchecked authority over all investigations. No, do you mean to tell me that, despite the chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets? Oh wait, you must mean puppet as in someone forced to do his bidding. Uh, never mind. I'm naked under this robe. Admit it, chief. You assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. 
your motive to appoint her as chief prosecutor so you could control her. Right on my door, you have quite an imagination. Let me ask you something. What? Do you have any proof of this, that I controlled Lana? For example, is Lana testifying that I've done such a thing? Lana, she's keeping quiet to protect Emma. There's no way she testified against Gan. I'm afraid we don't have any proof that this all amounts to nothing more than mere conjecture. And conjecture isn't going to fly this time, unless that is also what happened in this incident. Oh, this incident? Or which one would that be? Of course, I'm talking about the murder of Detective Bruce Goodman. The chief prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. Oh, you, oh she mean, you mean she's a robot? Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Worthy, you'd better watch your tongue. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Hmm, just what do you mean? What he means, Your Honor, is that Chief Gant is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the Chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. What? 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 Order. 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 I said order. Some more food. I'm still hungry. That's right. You, you can't be serious. Huh? This. This is an affront to the highest ranking officer in our law enforcement agency. He's even above me. I'm not even number two, though. To accuse the chief of police of blackmail and, and murder. That's a... Uh, 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 impossible. Your Honor. Your Honor. I was merely reiterating what Mr. Chaworth said in easier to understand language. <laughs> it's too late, Mr. Wright. We're in this together now. There's no turning back for us now. Looks like he's the one who's decided to go through with this. Can you prove this, Mr. Wright? That the chief, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved in this murder. Later, we're going to share a plate of spaghetti. I hope we get the same noodle. Good question. Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gant is just a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. All right, then. Let's see what Mr. Wright's got. And it better be good. Show us this evidence that ties Chief Gant to the murder of Detective Goodman. The screwdriver? Okay, so it looks like he's keeping keeping this as evidence to, to be like, yo, this proves something somehow? This is weird. All right, so what could it be? It could be that is proof, is proof of blackmail, but that's not what they're asking for. It could be that ties to it. It could be that ties to the ID card record that when he went in, because we know from the safe. Did we did we add that? No, we didn't. All right, so it's, it's either that or the screwdriver. What does it want? Does it want the screwdriver? That's, that's why Chadworth went back, it was in this car or whatever. I kind of feel like maybe no. I feel like it's this. Is there like a safe thing here with his, with the record on it? No, I don't think so. It's these two. It's one of these two. I'm gonna go with this. This is the ID card list. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There was one ID on the list we couldn't determine the owner yesterday. Seven 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 seven. Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my card number. I'm not fucking telling you it. It's your number. <laughs> and then Chara says, "It's your number." The judge says, "It's your number," and he's like, "It's my number." Oh, what? How do you know that? The safe in Chief Gant's office requires a code to open. A seven-digit code. Oh, seven digits. You don't mean? I'm afraid so, Your Honor. The code was seven 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 seven. Oh, what? That doesn't mean it's my, also my ID code. The same as the reigning ID card number on that list. Chief Gant, you entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. Why do you have the safe, it's the same number as your ID card? You fucking idiot. Oh, order, order. Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Er, aha, the mask is coming off. Nothing. The defense's search of my office was in violation of regulations. And I will demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. With my own gigantic hands, but right now, this court demands an explanation from you. 
about the use of this ID card. Chief Gant, see you in a minute. You enter the evidence room on the day of the crime. What about it? I'm chief of police. Whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom, I can go wherever the fuck I want. What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. Tell me, when you entered the room, were you alone? I always go to the bathroom alone, as I do with the evidence room. Detective Goodman wouldn't have happened to be with you that day, would he? Of, of course not. Why would he be? I hadn't seen him in days. You hadn't seen him in days? Chief Gant, I'm afraid you've just undone yourself. On that day, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. Oh, what do you mean? This trial's purpose is to determine Linus Guy's guilt. No, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. If Chief Gant met with the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? Oh, well, that's Miss Wright. I'm going to have to ask you to ask you for evidence. Show us proof that the victim went to meet Chief Gant on the day of the crime. Uh, the note about his thing, but it wasn't finished. Lost item report. Lost item report. Lost item report. Oh, I'm a lawyer. Uh, like, I mean, that's the only thing that is, but it's not finished. Maybe he wrote another one, and this was like the first draft. I mean, it's got to be that. There's nothing else. It's got to be that. that. Detective Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. I love this this double team. Oh man, it's so good. So Detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the chief of police. Yet you are in possession of the report, which means you can't be sure he filed if he filed it. He filed it. How do I know, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. Oh, he needed to. Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh! Detective Goodman took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then, you accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him. There's no other way the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Hold on, let me guess what you're going to say next. I, the chief of police, murdered poor Goodman. Alright, so chat, how many people do you think we're going to lose when the PS5 event starts? Exactly. But, but wait, oh shit, I'm the judge. Oh, but wait. The chief didn't necessarily need to accompany him to the evidence room. You could have just lent him his ID card. Yes, now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not possible. According to the record, your card was only used once. Yet you showed us your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to Detective Goodman, it would have been found on his body. Uh, no. Whoa! Oh, she can't. You, you didn't. You, you killed Goodman. Oh, well, this isn't going to go very well at all. Oh, when we go out later, you're, you're going to pay for dinner. The murder was most likely a spur-of-the-moment crime for no one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place to commit murder. He just felt like killing someone. After the murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body, of course. You're forgetting, Mr. Wright. That the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office's prosecutor's office's parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. Still, you're the chief of police. Oh, fucking right, I am. You have an entire police. Oh shit! You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an officer to do it? Hey, you, take this here dead body over to the prosecutor's office. I don't think so. I think Meekins would have went along with it. Chief Gant, you left all the evidence we need to prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office. Okay, I have no idea how, how they moved the, the body. And all this time, I thought it was just a useless clue just taking up space. Wait. Mm, how could the chief have moved the body? Mr. Wright, show us this evidence. To move the victim's body, chief can't use this. The shrink I don't know! 
I have no idea. There, no, that was broken. There's, there's nothing big enough to move a body. No, 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 no. There's no fucking way. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Like that kind of how it got in the car. No, no, no. In the glove? It was a big glove. In the safe? It, 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 okay, let's fuck it. Let's go for 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 it. You, are you fucking serious? Well, I see. Maybe I'll use this later to move your dead body, Mr. Wright. And there's no fucking way. Huh? Oh, and I'll help you dispose of it. Thank God. All right. Holy shit, Chief can't stay to the PD and Lana stay to the prosecutor's office. That leaves only one possible way he can move the body. The only problem is, how did he, he get him to do it? Maybe that piece of evidence really did have something to do with this case. I'll ask you, I'll ask you, I must write. How could the Chief have moved the body? Mr. Wright chose his evidence. To move the victim's body, Chief can't use this. All right. I still don't know. So he blackmailed someone into moving the body? Did he get Lana to do it? How did someone get into the room after after him? How, I guess he opened the door from the inside? I don't know, sorry, I've forgotten. I'm drawing a complete blank here, I'm sorry. I wish I could go back and see, see what led up to this. Are we trying to figure out how the body got to the prosecutor's office or how the body got in the car? I want to know how the body got in the car, right? That's what I'm trying to do, right? How, how did the body get out of the evidence room and into the car? Not how not how the body I know I know how the body got to the to the prosecutor's office. It, it, it was this like he, he made he baited Chadworth into driving it back. How did it get into the car? No, to the office? How did the body get into the car? He, he put it there. How did he get it from the office all the way down into the parking lot, across the parking lot, opened the car door, the, the, the trunk of the car, put it in, I almost said boot there, put it in the boot, close it, and then saunter away with no blood, no trail, nothing. Like what? Why are we, why are we, how did it get to the office instead of that? Okay, let's see. I, I thought it was how he got to the car, not how he got, how the car got to the, to the office. This is how he moved Detective Goodwin's body. All right, uh, what's that? A uh, screwdriver. But what does that have to do with this case? Mr. Chadworth, think back to the day of the crime. What is the screwdriver doing here? Uh, it's here because Ah, ah. I was asked to go, but Chief Gant, no less. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in, case, in the prosecutor's office. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. We're not doing the PS5 event. No, sorry, we're, in, we're into this. We didn't get done in time. After the ceremony ended that day, I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But you did, because Chief Gant asked you to. You mean I, 
All right. Here, I'll, I'll give you all a gift, all right? There's nothing important's gonna be announced, fuck it. It's gonna be boring, nothing good is gonna be announced. There's no way that at the end of this I'm gonna be like, oh, god damn it, they announced so much cool shit, I wish we had streamed that. There's no way that's gonna happen. There's no way there's so much awesome shit that's gonna come out in that stream, right? No way! There you go, there's your gift. You mean I, I... The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Triworth's car. How did it get there? To think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. But how did it get in the car? Why are we worried about that first? How did it get in the car? That's, um, that's a good one's body. It was carried in the trunk of Mr. Chowworth's car. Hmm, yes, but how did it get in the fucking car, right? I, I don't know, Your Honor. Yes, unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Mr. Chowworth to transport evidence from a closed case? There's only one plausible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Sky. Order, order, order. What's going on here? Is there no room for a rebuttal to the defense's outrageous accusation? Think back to the photograph Miss Starr took at the prosecutor's office. This, this was a, this was a not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It is a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Gant, please say something. I believe in miracles. Your time's up. Oh, my time's up. What do you mean? New judge. Rotation. All right, here we go. I'm going to the bench. Sorry, Rido, but I'm having lunch with the district attorney general after this. We have to get going if we were to make it in time for the early bird special. It's literally a bird. But the cross-examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier. A police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Like the right to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right now. And since this is day three of the trial, and all trials must be done in three days, you're shit out of luck. Oh, well, what? This is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. So you're going to just run away after all this? Run away? Don't make me laugh, worthy. I stabbed old Goodman. That's what you're saying, right? But if you have any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Hey, he just said it. He just admitted he stabbed Goodman. Oh, yes, I heard him too. Oh, yeah, all right. Guilty. All right, let's go to lunch. Early board special. Here we go. Yo, well, I... You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gant is the current chief of police. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. Well, Mr. Wright... Your Honor, do you have any concrete proof? Proof that Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Sky dispose of his body. Do I have any concrete proof? I, I don't. Do I? Do I? Let's save it, actually. We always do, don't we? We always do. Let's go. Present evidence. I can't let him just squirm his way out of this. I've got to keep the pressure on. Yes, Your Honor. I do have such evidence. Oh, then please hurry up and present it. Just remember, it better prove Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman beyond a shadow of a doubt. Um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this book, yes, uh, uh, evidence law from uh, this is this book. <sighs> We don't, do we? We don't. The knife, the, the knife was, uh, was there. Is it the knife? L Lana told me about the knife, but Lana won't testify to it? How, how did he have Chatterworth's knife, maybe? That, this wasn't the murder weapon, it was this one? It, I think that maybe is it.
Let's try it. So, uh, what exactly is this evidence? It's proof, as whether or not it's enough to demonstrate the chief's guilt. I'll let you be the judge. Oh, uh, I am the judge. <laughs> Right. Well, what do you think, Your Honor? What I think, Mr. Wright, is I'm going to be late for lunch. Oh, shit! Really? I thought that was it. I guess it wasn't enough. Please, Your Honor, give me a little longer to consider. Hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gantz is the current police. police. The, the, the fake out there with the music going away, too. Nice. This court will not tolerate any accusations again without concrete proof. Oh, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, do you have any concrete proof? Proof that Chief Damon... Do you have any concrete proof? No, I have no proof yet. No, I don't. No. It's no use showing evidence, I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. Hum, see, OG. Oh, in that case, this court is forced to penalize you for your allegations against the chief. What? Here's a tip. Never gamble what you can't afford to lose, right -o. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, OG. I'll leave the rest to you. Do warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This is an affront to, this, to a senior officer in our nation's law enforcement agency. Wah. Lady Luck, hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. Oh, Mr. Chadworth, what do you mean? There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. A lady who knows the truth. Another witness. In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of proof is testimony. But Chief Kent has invoked his right to refuse to testify. There's still someone else, one more witness who can answer all the questions. Raised in this trial, someone right in this very room. Miss Chadworth, who is this person? Humph. Lana Skye, why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling witnesses today. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? She may not be willing to tell the truth, but we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls forth. Take that. Uh, the defendant. Huh, why didn't we think of this before? Putting the defendant on the stand. Huh, what a novel concept. Never happened before. Hmm, okay, Miss Lansky. Hmm, take the stand. She was in the underground parking lot at 5.15 on February 21. Her task to dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm, Miss Chadworth. The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Oh, very well. The court will not take its final recess for the day. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defense testimony. This court is now in... Re Hold on. Huh? Chief Gant, I thought you were going to eat. Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claims, there will be terrible consequences. Alright, just, you just... You just fucking, like, blackmailing her right in front of everybody. That's right. That's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Ah, uh, this isn't good. Of course, you never support such outrageous claims anyway, right? Just something to think about. All right, then. I've got a lunch date to meet. <coughs> I hope he's gone for a while because my throat just got fucked saying that. Huh, hmm, nothing suspicious about that. Okay, yeah, if there aren't any further objections, let's go. Hmm, yeah, I need to take a dump. This court is now in recess. February 25, 204 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, at Chatworth. Well, that chief, he's something else, eh, pals? Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> I'm not a detective anymore. Oh yeah, sorry about that. We didn't need that book. Ah, uh, don't worry. I already decided where to work now. At your office. My office? Sure. I'll take the place of that top knotted girl you used to work with. Oh man, what an upgrade. Could he mean Maya? I don't know. Still, looks like we're all out of mo moves now. Chief Gant's done it again. How is it he always gets the upper hand? He's Todd Howard. It's not fair he has the right to refuse to testify. Humph, settle down, right? Remember what the judge said. I need to take a dump. What you- <laughs> I'm sorry. But Chief, that's not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. 
Risks, what did he mean by that? It's simple, if the chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. You mean he forfeits his right to say anything too? Emma, are you okay? Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery, so she heard everything that's been going on. Um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow relieved. Relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think all this time, I was a murderer, my sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man, and she did it all just to protect me. Ever since her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps it was easier th that way for her. Well, what do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gant's orders? She must have been shut herself up deep inside to force herself to do anything and everything the Chief told her to do. That must be why she became so cold. It was all my fault. It's all because I murdered Mr. Marshall. Hey, don't go blaming yourself now. If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal. You're a part of the Phantom Thieves now. Chief Gant may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery. But he can't fool my memory. I remember now, I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I, I see. Well, we better get back. It's time for the final act. I can't do his voice anymore because of Gantz. Oh my god. Emma, why don't you wait? No, I'm going with you. I want to be there when Lana tells the truth. And the judge will let someone who just got found guilty of murder. Well, not murder. Of a killing. Of manslaughter. On the defense's bar. It's fine. Let's go, right? It's time to end this. February 25, two day. We're not pausing for PlayStation 5, no. If you want to go watch it, then go watch it. It's fine. We're gonna finish. Now that will the defendant miss Lana Sky, please take the stand. Miss Lana Sky, you are the chief prosecutor. I might have to take a break actually. It's been uh, I hope we can get done in 30 minutes. I need to take the dogs out again. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Chadworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done in these past two years. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Guy. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course, the truth. Lana, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. Now then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Chief Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You have the only chance we have to get Gant. Oh yeah, there's some people talking about the PlayStation 5 event. Do you want me to stop and do the PlayStation 5 event? I'm not going to change the title. We can just talk about it afterwards. We can go through it after the stream is done. We'll look at the announcements together and we'll talk about the announcements. Like, we can, we can just talk about all the different stuff later, can't we? Like, yeah. All right? Okay, good. All right, I need to take the dogs out. I'm sorry, I need to take a break. So if you guys want to watch the, the PlayStation 5 announcement for a little bit when I come back, before I come back, then that's fine. But yeah. I'll be back in 10 minutes.
Alright, sorry about that. Uh, girl, just wouldn't poop. No. He won't poop. He won't poop. Is that anything good? Am poop. <laughs> Orcs looks like Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Hmm. Are you sure about this testimony? Your Honor, I'm confessing to the cap to a capital offense. Of course I'm sure. But Lana... If this is true, then that means Chief Gant has nothing to do with this. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you've got to help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. Yeah, this is no time to start second-guessing myself. Hmm, the defense now may now begin its cross-examination. I worked alongside Gant for years. No, you didn't! How many years, exactly? Ever since I made senior detective. Let's see, I was 24 then, so that would be five years. So she's included, including the previous two? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Something about them being legendary partners, I don't think I read that. I personally saw and testify in numerous cases. She must have been good, coming from the same school as Mia. Damon Gant was a respectable detective, that's why. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. But think about it, Miss Guy. You didn't murder Detective Goodman. You told me as much yesterday in jail. You still don't get it, do you, Mr. Wright? Any testimony you cannot present in court is as useless as idle gossip. I stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. And... I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. Did you do so to help your sister? Joe Dark was a serial killer. My sister almost became his last victim that day. I didn't want that incident to ruin her life. But what she did was justifiable self-defense. She wouldn't have been charged with anything. Well, it's this court. That's not the point. But Chadworth would have? She was traumatized that day, all because of that creep. That's why I couldn't forgive him. Lana. So that's why you fabricated the evidence two years ago. Oh, so that's why you fabricated the evidence two years ago. When I found out, found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. You say you did this all by yourself? Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? It seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor award knife was stuck in the victim's body. What? But prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you, could, you, de you dreamed was possible. The reality is, I... It wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but I'll never change this statement. You mean, Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Dark? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh, that was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up her lies with more lies. All just to protect me. Yeah, she's totally psychic. So when you found this, so when you found the scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. Well, apparently, if that's what the scene looked like, uh, she did fucking nothing, Your Honor. Uh, yes. I broke off the dark knife, planted inside the wound, then moved the body. I took out, I took out, I took out the knife, put the the tip in, and then put the knife back in. 
and somehow didn't get any blood on me whatsoever, but I had blood all over me when I replaced a knife in another dead body that had been dead for longer. Okay. You planted the tip of Dark's knife in the victim's wound? Well, then you moved the body. But why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Chadworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to ask for the, for the sake of others. Why did you plant the knife? Why did you do that? Come now, Mr. Wright. Even you should be able to figure it out. Very well. Let's add this to the witness assessment. No! Make her answer! What? The reason Miss Sky fabricated the knife. I knew the tip of the weapon found buried in his body would be all the proof we need. Okay, cool. What about the other one? Do I have to go through that one too? Why did you move the body? When you showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was, by Chief Gant's desk. But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? The reason for that is simple. Let's have the witness explain this in more detail. The reason Miss Sky moved the body. Oh, we can only go back and forth? God damn it. Piece of the jar, you mean? Yes, that wretched jar you showed us earlier. In order to show that Drake, Drake Dark committed the crime, I felt it would be more ex expedient to move the body. So, when you first found the body, the jar was already... Of course, it had been shattered to pieces. If you looked at the crime scene, it would be clear right away what happened. Neil Marshall was dead and Dark was lying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during their struggle. I see. What's the matter, Emma? Apparently the jar shattered at the time when the crime was committed. But I have a feeling there is more to it than that. There must be a contradiction here somewhere. Okay, so how did he write it if the jar was broken? Anyway, I committed this fabrication completely alone. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. So you rearranged the crime scene. Are you sure you didn't do this to keep Emma from looking at the murder? Like the murderer? How many times do I have to tell you, Mr. Wright? Emma didn't do it, period. Are you so desperate to hide that fact? You're willing to risk the death sentence? She's lying. She did it so I wouldn't be blamed for what happened. In any case, as a prosecutor, what I've done is unpardonable. There's nothing I can do to make up for my actions. Mr. Wright, my sister's lying. Looks like she's determined to protect you to the end. She insists she fabricated the evidence by herself. There's no way she could have done it alone. I've got to get Landon to talk more. If she's lying, then she's bound to slip up and make a contradiction. She already has. Miss Guy, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene where Neil Marshall was murdered. If that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life will have been in vain. Even so, I am compelled to bring every to everyone's attention a significant contradiction within your testimony. A contradiction in my testimony. You testified, and I quote, The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? It's a simple oversight, really. You see, a message was written on this jar with the victim's blood. Yes, the prosecutor must have written it in his final moments. Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. In order for the victim to be able to write his message on the jar, it couldn't have been broken. It must not have even been broken before he died. Ah. He couldn't have written Emma's name on a shattered jar. I mean, well, yeah. Can you prove it? Ah, yes, can you? Order, order. Your Honor, it would appear more information is needed in regards to this jar and its bloody message. We may be missing something critical here. What was inside? Was it jam? Something critical? Chief Prosecutor. It seems you're in the dark as you're as in the dark as we are about the truth towards which we're headed. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. Oh, very well. The witness may now continue her testimony. Jar and message in blood. I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar, but it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. 
All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. Oh, you mean you were the one who wiped away the message in blood? I wasn't chief prosecutor at the time. She didn't think Dark was the real murderer. That's why she tried to erase the real evidence. Oh, very well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. How did you read it when it was smashed? I mean, you noticed the blood traces on the jar. So the jar was already broken. It's a miracle that thing hadn't br broken earlier. It certainly looks as feeble as the defense's case. Whoa, but not as feeble as the judge's judgment. Ooh! You were an ace detective who never missed a detail. Do you really expect us to believe you didn't investigate what was written on the jar pieces? Normally I would have. But it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out, but I still took the time to wipe it even though I didn't know what it said. So you didn't know your sister's name was written on the jar? No. If I had known, I would have gathered all the pieces and ground them to dust. Well, that helps my case. Lana, you do that for me? This seems you two might make up yet. Anyway, I just barely had enough time to move the body as it was. If someone happened upon the scene, you'd lose your chance to erase the evidence. But yet we're not asking how Gant got the body out of the evidence fucking room, all the way down outside of the guard office outside, down some stairs or an elevator, into the parking lot, across the parking lot, into Chadworth's car, open the Chadworth's car somehow, close it, without it looking like tampered with. You must have been in a hurry. I was. I knew I had to destroy the evidence before anyone came. This is rather shocking. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. I'm afraid this action of yours reveals what really happened. Well, what do you mean? If you really thought Dark killed Prosecutor Marshall, you wouldn't have wiped away the blood. What else could I have done in that situation? Lana, I only had a few moments. There wasn't enough time for me to do anything else but gather up the pieces. The friends were large, so I made sure I got them all. Uh, did we do that one? Oh, well, you see, the power out should have been pitch black in that office. The detective is always prepared, Mr. Wright. Even now, I always carry a pocket light and a camera with me. Even I carry a bottle of emergency luminol wherever I go. I never miss anything. I got every last piece. Then you could have read it if you had the light. This is really a great fight. She must really care about you. Still, she's not doing this the right way. I think I finally figured out the contradiction in her testimony. There's one final possibility that might turn everything around. Mm -hmm. There's blood traces on the jar. It was dark in the room. I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. Friends were large, so I'm sure I got them all. I could think about was wiping them clean before they discovered. Did we do this one? So you legally arranged the crime scene? Yes. I don't have any excuse for my actions. I'm so sorry, Lana. I didn't know. I treated you so badly all this time. It's not too late. There's still plenty of time to make up. After all, you've gotten to the bottom of this incident. I doubt this day will, will leave a permanent stain on the history of the prosecutor's office. More contradictions have surfaced in the testimony. Your sister is really putting a fight. Okay. Well, she just contradicted herself within that testimony. She said she couldn't see them, but she also said she had a light. How do, how do I put those together? Okay, is it, is it that she missed one? I don't know what you want from me, game. I'm sorry. I mean, there's blood traces on the jar, but it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I made sure I got them all. All I could think was that I wiped them clean before I discovered. Okay, so I guess it's that you, you missed one, right? It's gotta be. You missed one. Miss Guy, I believe this jar conceals the truth even you were unaware of. What? We found the final piece of, the, of this jar and Chief Gant's safe. In the chief safe, but how? I knew it, she really didn't know. There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was still blood on it. But the witness just testified that she gathered every last piece and wiped the blood off of them. Yes, which leaves us with only one explanation. On the night on the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Chief Gant got there before you. Or she just missed one, it was dark. Oh god, me and the judge are in sync. But shit, couldn't the defendant have simply missed the beast? I'm afraid that's unlikely. The 
pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective, even though it was dark, but also she was using a flashlight, but it was too dark to see that, but she had a flashlight, but it was too dark to read what it was, because there was no light, but she had a flashlight, but we're not gonna bring that up. That, that may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all along. Ha, ah, can you believe that? I can. I can, Your Honor. Have you forgotten, Your Honor? When this witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. Oh, that. There's no way a name could have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying this person was Chief Gant at the, th at the time he was looking. For Dark Downstairs. Besides, even if he was there first, why would he break that jar? The question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide that fact for two years? Well, Your Honor, can you answer us, uh, answer us that? Ooh, I don't know, I'm not Gant. Why would you ask me? Mm, uh, no. Wait, I'm not the one on trial here. <laughs> Damon Gant arrived at the crime scene prior to the witness. He proceeded to break the jar and purposefully hid one of the broken pieces. Question, what is this action called? Fabrication of evidence. But why would Chief Gant do that? In light of what happened afterwards, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Sky believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Lending her his aid, Gant helped her create evidence that incriminated Dark, sparing Emma, and therein lies the reason. The reason why Miss Sky became the, sh the, the chief's puppet. Oh, damn, she just bit her thumb. No, I, I did it on my own. Please, sis, stop trying to protect the chief. I... I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. You didn't kill anyone. Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says. Defense attorneys make up the most foul lies to defend their clients. Foul lies. Imagine that coming from my own client. Hmm, I guess you do seem the type who likes to twist the truth. Wait a minute. Twist the truth? Wait a minute. What if... We're still smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap. Oh, something wrong, Mr. Wright. Lana, maybe right after all. Huh? What what do you what do you mean right? So you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Miss Sky, please testify once more. But if evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. But but I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Sky, if you will. I, I can't. I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Except my gigantic hand. This cross examination issue may not change a thing. However, there's a possibility that it will if you tell the truth. <laughs> Very well. I'll testify. About what I really saw. <laughs> Alright, the witness may testify once more for the final time. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what had happened, I thought she did it. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to them. Why would you think that? What? I had Chief Gant help me remove the body from the sword and carry it, but if it all it really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Well, unbelievable. The body was impaled on the armor sword. You were the only one who saw that. If only you had proof. Oh, I have my camera with me. I took a fucking photo of it. I, uh, actually, I do have proof. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. What? To me? It's a picture. Oh, my. It's a picture I took of the crime scene and encountered it. I thought it might be needed. But I don't remember receiving a picture like that. Lana must have known. See, Mr. Wright, she really does have faith in you. Oh, very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. I don't remember seeing any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. But we, we looked at it! Oh, that's a weird picture. That doesn't prove anything. 
Oh, now we get to look at the book. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, all right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Now we get to look at the book. Hey, there's a, there's a picture here. Oh, oh my. This is the actual crime scene. No other detective saw the crime scene like this. Because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I had rearranged everything. Lana's picture, crime scene photo taken. Why is there so much blood on the front of him? Did he cough up blood after being impaled? It went through his lungs and heart, so that makes sense. Gasp, Mr. Wright. That piece cut from his vest, could that be... The cloth we found inside Chief Gant's safe. What's this? Ooh, what's this? This is a handprint, isn't it? That cloth. It had fingerprints on it. Who's ever, who's ever fingerprints those are must be the real murderer. What? But those fingerprints. They're yours, Emma. What, why are your lips turning all purple, Mr. Wright? Anyway, let's get, get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Oh, very well. The defense may not begin its cross-examination. Actual crime scene. Do, 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 do. Whoa, 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 whoa! I want to look at the... Come now, Wudgie. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. <coughs> oh, you can. What, now you want to make me out as the bad guy too? If so, I'd like to put a word in or, or two in my defense. No, you, you said you wouldn't testify. Get the fuck out. Objection. Objection. I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined to testify. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. I'm the fucking chief of police. I revoke my fucking refusal. This must be that risk we were talking about earlier. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of my gigantic hands clapping your way to death, noose tightening around your own neck. Ah, so what? You think I'm worried? Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. What? Yeah, what? Yeah, yes, that's true. Wait, you mean... What? You, you still have some conclusive... No, I don't, but someone does. So, so, someone. So, what's 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 your excuse, Rido? Why have you been keeping quiet about it? You do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall causing his death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Oh, so you do know about all the evidence in the safe. So you're admitting that it was in the safe. Me so that means that you did put it there, which means you were part of the forgery. Is this true, Mr. You can't have it both ways, Damon. Chadworth can, but you can't, if, if I show that piece of evidence now. Emma sure to be made out as the murderer. Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence, present it now. And if you try to conceal, don't feel anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully, I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who pro killed Prosecutor Marshall. Uh... Alright, for no reason at all, let's save it. Just no reason. Just on a hunch, let's save it. No, I'm not. No. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You lie. Oh, Chief Gant. You. You opened my safe. I know what you what you took was inside. The conclusive evidence. Ah, so you admit it. Okay, that's it. We got him. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Wright, you don't sh why don't you show them? We found it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Is, isn't this? Isn't he testifying right now? Is he's on a stand? Get get the fuck off! Take a good look at this picture. Look at this fucking photograph. See the victim's vest. Notice anything odd about the chest area? It looks like part of it's been. Hmm, it looks like part of it's been cut out for some reason. You mean you had this in your safe? What? That means you, the chief of police. I've been concealing evidence. 
This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. Whoa, Gant, what was your end game? Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the gall, righto. Well, I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. Oh, what? You mean, you admit to it? <sighs> I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. It then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. So you really were manipulating her? I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, that when she saw the scene, she would ask me for my aid. So being the ripped man that I was, I picked up a fully grown adult detective and just threw him on the fucking spear. So you assisted Miss Sky. I told him to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When I tampered with the crime scene, I hit two pieces of evidence. This was before Lana arrived at the scene, mind you. Two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe? Oh, but, but why? Wait, what safe? Where am I? For insurance, of course. Insurance? I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? What you take me for? A fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. Oh, well, I may, ju I may judge by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? I hid the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on this jar, too? Weren't you just fucking listening, Chadworth? I already admitted to that. Ho, ho, ho. Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? What piece of cloth? Come on, Rhino. Cough it up already. I know you have it. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit to it then, Chief Gant, that you were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your, in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being Chief and all. But it's a lot better than being betrayed as a murderer. Oh, well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Righto. You should have shown it then before it was too late. Well, I still don't. It's been a long battle. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine. I cannot show evidence. Let's give me a life bar. I can't, I can't. I don't have it. No, I don't know. Shit. Huh, for, for some reason, let's just save again. Yeah, I can't show it. No. No, it's too late to show the evidence now. Besides, even if I did, it just exposed that poor girl's fingertips. Right. Think hard over the circumstances. The circumstances? I'm talking about then and now. There's one major difference between the two. Weren't you waiting for that difference? So, Chowworth figured out my plan. Mr. Wright, this is your only chance. Your honor, I do have evidence to present now. Oh, well, alright then. Let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. I'm a lawyer. Mr. 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 Chowworth, your opinion, please. I think Mr. Wright's humor has improved at the expense of his defense. Oh, better polish up your defense, Mr. Wright. Come on, Mr. Wright. You remember that thing with the murderer's handprint on it, don't you? Well, there's no way around it, Mr. Wright. Now, let's try this one more time. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. All right, then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows... Okay. Am I, am I really supposed to just show it? Can I just show this and say it's inadmissible? Rules for submitting evidence? No evidence will be shown and it's not relevant to the trial? Can we just do that? Mr. Edward, your opinion, please. Really? Okay, I just... I really feel like this isn't the right play. Like, like Really? What else did we find? All right. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, 
you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh, yes. At last, you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that that be immediately sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather. There must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. You, you, you mean? It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant, you're as slow as the on the uptake as ever, Worthy. What? Think about it. Rido had all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would that be? You mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that. Mr. Wright, do you really know? Well, whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? They're mine. Very well, I'll tell you. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person to whom these fingerprints belong to is... I mean, it's Emma, but... Oh, this doesn't feel right! Oh, well, well, let's go for it. Emma? Emma, oh, Emma Sky. What? They're mine? I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, ho, ho, ho. You're really something, Rido. You knew this girl did it all along, and you still try to pin the murder on me. Yeah, but it was self-defense. She's not gonna go to prison for it, and you just admitted to fabricating evidence. How is this a victory? I don't understand what's going on right now. I don't, I don't see, like, why do you think you're gonna get away with, like, what? So, so it's true, tragic, but true. This girl really did show Prosecutor Marshall to his death, and he somehow went, like, fucking, like, six feet through the air and got impaled so hard on the spear that he was dangling from it from a little 14-year-old girl that pushed him. How could you? You you monster. Oh, this guy. You knew whose fingerprints were, those were all along, yet you... You acted like she really didn't... Miss Guy, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Ha! But I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. Even though I just admitted to fabricating and tampering with a crime scene that we meet chief of police and blackmailing the ch fucking chief of prosecutors. Yours is, yours is the career that's over. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. Is it worse than yours? I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? Oh, I don't like that word. Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. I'm a lawyer. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? Hmm, it was in the sky, wasn't it? I'm afraid that's not possible. You see. This piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? The fingerprint database is out of date. Here's the updated fingerprint database. It was actually Gant. I'm talking about a contradiction, one that proves who the real killer is. Oh, Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth. What could it possibly contradict? Chief Gant, your tyrannical reign ends here. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. I don't know! <laughs> it has no blood on it? gotta be that right it has no blood on it there's blood so does it want me to look at that or does it want me to look at that it's gotta be it has no blood on it right 
And what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Sky took. Take a look and look at it. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? Hmm, yes, sure is showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Exactly my point. Except his chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were uh, punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, but that, that piece of cloth. It has no lung juice on it at all. Wait, there's no blood on it. Since some of this guy's fingerprints are on this cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Miss Marshall was not impaled on the sword at that time. N no, this is nonsense. Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall is not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Lana Sky? Picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armor sword. Then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood, a jar that they then broke on purpose to leave behind a clue, and make Lana believe her sister did it. Why would he break it? Remember what you admitted only moments ago, that you personally cut out the bloodless piece of, of the victim's vest. I guess so he could take a piece. Okay, ironic, isn't it? Through the very act of creating insurance, you proved that you were the actual murderer. No! It's a pretty dumb mistake. It's finally all, all over. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 that was close, Rido. You almost had me. Sorry, but you have to do better than that. I refute all your allegations. What do you mean you refute his allegations? You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. Order, order. What nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. What, what do you mean illegal evidence? There's no such thing as legal evidence. Every piece of evidence that's ever brought into this court has been allowed. What do you mean? Didn't even know there was a concept of legal evidence. Remember, Uji? I, I, I don't. Oh shit, I mean I do, I do, I want to keep my job. Oh, these dentures are expensive. Earlier old Rido here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Rido? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. Well, that's why I didn't present it, because it was illegal. <laughs> well, that's true, but then you made him as a Chief Blaze. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. But that's not fair. Ho, 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 Did you actually think you could best me in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. I'm afraid Mr. Gant's, Gant's claim is legally correct, but as usual, we don't give a fuck about legally correct here. It's fine. Let's go. Well, Mr. Chadworth. True. Legal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. It seems, at last. The time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. Okay, reveal it to me too, right? No, Mr. Wright, do you, admit, do you admit to it? That you purposefully and legally concealed this piece of cloth? I did, I did not. Hmm, for some reason, I kind of kind of feel like I want to save. Alright, uh, I did. No, if I admit to that, all my plan will have been for nothing. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean, I did not. It seems Mr. Wright didn't understand the implication of this conduct. This conduct. If you're going to change your position, this is your only chance, right? He's right. I mean, I'm right. I admit, I refused to present it at one point. Uh -huh. So the evidence is illegal. Objection. Objection. No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. Huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then. It's that I couldn't. Hmm. What do you mean, you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, Uji, don't listen to his lies. You know the law better than him. He only just read it this morning. You're a fucking judge. He's nothing but a coward. You can't really believe. There's only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Oh, very well. Let us solve this once and for all. Earlier, we refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, then do so now. Yeah, this book. Yeah, 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 this book. This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law. 
what's this? No one reads this fucking book. Hmm, yeah, you're right, not even me. I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth, nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law is that you can't talk about evidence law. Rule one, you can't talk about evidence law. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself inside your safe. Well, who in the police department approved it? It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the police department. Rule two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And here is the crux of the matter. You see, at the time, it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the cloth and the SL. Okay, so if rule one, it, it can be either of them, it doesn't have to be both? That's kind of a weird way of saying that. Maybe, maybe it clarifies somehow, I don't know. If rule one isn't there, it has to be rule two. So it's not really rules, it's just the way that the, the, the evidence can be, can be, okay, between the cloth and the SLM incident. What, what kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take one look at this picture and... Sorry, but can you recall when was that picture presented? This, this was shown only a few moments ago. No! He's right. And right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The relevancy was out of date. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. You yourself confessed to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh, yes. No. It was then that you approved this cloth as conclusive evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer, and there's only one person who that could be. Emma Scott, oh, Damon Gant, the, yeah, the killer, yeah, right, tell him, yeah, tell him, Phoenix, tell him, yeah, 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 from the ashes, Phoenix rises, yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Fucking hell. I knew, I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good-for-nothing skull. For two years, he's been snooping around the department trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Starr, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. He was a really good man. If the evidence is transferred, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. For all of our sakes. Goodwin turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a loss item report. I went with him to the evidence room, and for no fucking reason, I just fucking killed him. Then all of a sudden, he decided to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? I'm fucking- I have the same voice as you, Gant. Yes, we can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. This is really confusing. We have the same voice. I know. Do crime with this. He he opened the evidence locker as he was tying the evidence out. He said, "It's not too late. I'm going to hand all this over to Marshall." No. Well, to be honest, I was a bit taken aback by his words. I had a bad feeling. <laughs> Can you see? I thought he'd bring a vessel nine. That's when I saw it. That accursed knife. I couldn't just pull it out. Doing so would have only led to more blood, making it near impossible to hide your crime. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I hurried to wipe it up. I was worrying so much about the floor, I didn't realize my fatal mistake. The bloody handprint. On Detective Gumshoe's locker. I used to be known as the, as the crime computer, but everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car. 
I'm sorry, I couldn't think of any other way to move the bot. How did you get it to the car? I broke your trunk, but that's the big- Woo! Woo! You make a lot more than us detectives ever will. Uh, uh, ooh, oh, we're just like, uh, uh, out of the office, out of the evidence room, out of the door, down the hallway, down the stairs of the elevator, d in through the parking lot, over to the car. What? L leaving the prosecutor's car aside, how could you get Miss Sky involved in all of this? Well, she had as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker? I felt bad for having to do it. I also didn't have the time to pick and choose what to take. Take, so. So you left the jar fragments in the glove. Yeah. It looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. They all did their best to get in my way. I've got to hand it to them. They do, th they do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination, except for all the times before that it did. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy, why do you stand in court? Me. You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. One day you'll understand. Oh, believe me, you will. You're just one man. You'll see what it really takes to bring them down once you try to go it alone. I'll never be alone. I have right. Ooh, a little foreshadowing there? Ooh. Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Budgie. What? You're a fucking awful judge. Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. Sorry, old friend. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry too, Damon Gant. But we're all friends. Uh, yeah, well, fuck it. Not guilty. Let's go to lunch. I knew you. I knew. I knew you as you used to be long ago. I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator and an example to others on the force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are gone now, Budgie. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Even though you didn't know fucking evidence law. Now you have right over here. And worthy. With these two around. You can't go wrong. In fact, I can hear them already. The blood. Oh, how do I say that in his voice? Oh, it skipped. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Alright, that's fine. That's saving. Ah, there are two things I want you to understand. Number one is the first rule of evidence law, yes? First, I'm the realist. Your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gant betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Sky, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years, from the time I had Gant help me forge evidence up until today. Uh, so, um, hmm. Uh, I have a free spot for lunch. Who wants to come? It seems that all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Guy. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. My, my, what high standards you have for a rookie. I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows, a few years from now, you just might make it to the top. Aw, she smiled finally. Nice. Are you my thanks, Mr. Ray? Miss Sky. And to you too, Mr. Chadworth. So they all have a moment in in the, in like the like the the people that are guilty. They all have a moment where their their character sprites change into being like the evil truth that comes out. And she had the opposite. She was cold and and, and reserved the whole time. And now she finally smiled. Oh, that's nice. You suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few years. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. Humph. It, it was nothing. Nothing. I was on trial for murder a little while ago and had a big revelation about my dead dad. This is nothing. This is Tuesday. Liar. I was worried the pressure might break you. And yet, you rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Chap- Woo! 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 So, so stop it. I only did my job. Oh, in light of this case, it seems a good self-examination is in order for all of us. Miss Guy, bring in the mirrors. Yes, Your Honor. You are in innocent of murder. However, although the chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still acted as his accomplice. The trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. Is there something amusing about all of this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of these heavy chains. Do -do 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 
Oh, well, what happened to the defendant? Where is it? Well, this trial has gone on for far too long already. No fucking kidding. Regarding the charge of murder, this court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Not guilty. Confetti court! Woo! Confetti court! Woo! 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 Yeah! That is all. This court is adjourned. February 25, 5.03 p.m. District Court. Defendant lobby number two. At long last, it's finally over. We can go get some spaghetti. And Emma? Why the long face? I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook. Okay, isn't there like a moment where we present evidence at the end? Hold on, let's save it. But at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. No, that's not it. Just now, after the trial ended, I can see why Mia Faye thought so highly of you. I mean, my thanks, Mr. Wright. Did she only say Mia in the court, not Mia Faye? And to you too, Mr. Chadworth. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. You've done well. You know, I did my best too, but Lana didn't say a single word to me. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Sound a bit more gruff than usual. Oh. Well, guess I am. I'll come back later. Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making a detective run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happy people, happier people at funerals. Get a new line, dude. Hey, lighten up, pals. I'm only kidding. Oh. Are you here because of my sister again? Nope, not this time. I came today because of, uh, because of you, pal. Me? That's right, I thought you'd like to see someone. Uh, Lana? Should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. Oh, oh, shit, yeah, you're right. Well, I won't tell if you won't. Emma, I owe you an apology. It's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. That day, two years ago... was the first time in my life I ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped up in that mess. Sis, I asked Gantt to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake, but now I realize I was wrong. It was my own sake changed after that day. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through the past two years. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself. Well, the chief prosecutor is going to be open. Hey, hey, Chowworth, you going up in the ranks? Well, I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I, I was scared. Scared that you'd look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared of how you'd react if you knew. But sis, you were only doing it for me. No. I turned my back on you that day, in hiding what I believed to be the truth. I was deceiving you. Sis, I'm such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. Emma, I'm so sorry. But sis, you don't have to apologize. I'm happy now. You're happy? Of course. You know, sis. I always knew that one day you'd come back. And now you have. Oh, Emma, Emma. then they died. No one can change the past. The only thing we can do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Why must we make up for our mistakes, you ask? Because in so doing, we can find the way back to the, our rightful path. And it is from there that we can move on toward a brighter future. Alright. Who gives a shit? At least that's what I felt watching the two sisters make up. Go give Chowworth a hug, Mr. Wright, Mr. Gumshoe. Uh, me? Thank you both for all that you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Isn't that right? Right, Chadworth. Ch Ch Chadworth? Stop hiding and come over here. Where was he hiding? I just, I just came to say, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chadworth. Right, well, I'll be going now. No, you're not. You come with us to get spaghetti. Spaghetti. 
Spaghetti Core, Mr. Chadworth, I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. We were the ones who acted corruptly. Corruptly? Corruptedly? Corruptly? Not you. It's fine, I understand it, but... <laughs> it's too late for me. No matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't correct my mistakes. Mr. Chadworth, not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gant was right. You despise criminals, I can feel it, you and me were the same. Huh. One day you'll understand, oh believe me, you are you're just one man, you'll see what it really takes to bring them down once you go alone. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in order to fight crime on my own, I need a weapon. It's scary, but I've known that to be true for quite some time now. But Chadworth... Who knows? Given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gant did, or become fucking Batman! Chadman! That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Chadworth... Don't you understand? Damon Gant and your mentor, Manfred von Karma. Oh, we're bringing him back up! We're both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime! But they both made the same mistake. <laughs> Such a dumb joke. Why do I keep doing it? It's the worst dumb joke. I don't know why it's stuck. The sake to sake thing. It's just the worst joke. You said in order to fight crime on my own, I need a weapon. There it may be true, but think back to today, today's trial. You weren't alone. You were working together with Mr. Wright, and because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Oh, yeah. What's, what is this, a pop quiz? Come on, Mr. Wright, show him what Lana's talking about. Evidence, huh? Something that neither Chadworth and I would have been able to find on our own. I'm a lawyer. Shit, what is it? Well, we didn't find this on our own. Do, 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 do. Evidence law. Evidence law brought us together. Shit. We wouldn't find on our own. I'm a lawyer, Goodman's ID, the trophy, he brought that, we found it, Edward Snyth, the Blue Badger, Autopsy Report, Goodman's Note, this is kind of vague, parking lot floor plans, victim shoe, switchblade knife, luminol, ID card, fingerprint, he gave that to us and we used it? Maybe. Goodman's Lost Iron Report, no. Evidence room floor plans, rubber glove, can't fit his hands, evidence locker, unstable jar, fingerprints, incident files, autopsy report, the picture with his trophy maybe? Evidence list, half this is found against us. We both joined half of the, the list together to make the picture? Uh, piece of cloth, evidence law, and the picture, we'll need a set of photographs. What, what's the, we only get one chance at this. I'm gonna guess it's this. What's the actual answer? I want to cheat. Tell me the answer. This is my guess, and if it's wrong, then I'll go the other one. It's the list? It's the list? Okay. Why y'all think I'm baiting? Can't I just be stupid? What the fuck? Jesus, just let me be dumb. Like, what the hell? I don't know for sure. This seems really vague and you have to guess. Can I just be dumb? That's the picture I drew. Our counterattack began with this. You had one half of the evidence list and I had the other. Apart, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't just happen by chance, Mr. Chadworth. Yeah, let's go go into business together. We can both be attorneys together. R right, right and Chadworth. Rightworth. Chad Wright. Then we can be together. Yeah, let's do it. It's time for me to go. Let's have our office together, Mr. Shadworth. If you'll excuse me, there are still some loose ends that I need wrapping up. 
Take care, Chief Prosecutor. Chadworth, what will you do now? Well, whatever you do, just remember. I love you, you can you can let what happened to you can let what happened kill the prosecutor in you, or you can let it help you grow. In the end, it's up to you. We really want to see you grow, Chadworth. I know. It seems I owe you my thanks too, right? But what I face now is my problem. Chadworth, I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. Good roleplay, Waffles. Thank you, Yusuke. I'll be going too. Okay, but I'll be, be by to visit soon. It seems we both have a lot of thoughts to learn and catching up to do. Here, this is a little something for you. Scientific investigation. It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. R really? That was the first book you ever bought? Not like Catcher in the Rye? Like, really? That, that, that? Okay, thanks, sis. I will. No, you see, when an anime character is born, they're locked in to what they're gonna do for their whole life, and every single decision they ever make is toward that purpose and goal. Every single moment of backstory must be relevant to the to the occupation that they pick at the end for their anime career. And so, another case came to be closed. Literally lawyer babies. As for the sisters, I have faith. Faith that their lives have only just begun. Well, she's going to prison. And as for me, I think it's time I started on a new journey of my own. With Chadworth, a journey to rediscover myself. Damn, like an awakening? Hmm. Well, don't go trekking off just yet, pal. Huh? What is it, detective? It's spaghetti time. There's just a little matter to be resolved about the chief prosecutor. You see, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this, but... I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, I fucking lied. Well, it may be okay with me, but the folks at the prison are a different story. <laughs> huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes, and it's been 31 minutes, so we're proper fucked. Believe me, it wasn't cheap either. Huh? Way to go, detective. I didn't know you had a wild side. Yeah, well, haha, <laughs> you see, Mr. Wright here is the one who'll be footing the bill. Huh? Huh? What, you think I could afford it with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal. Huh? 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 Thank you, Mr. Wright. You're the best. Why is it I suddenly feel like I want to scream? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we all go pay it off together? Oh, yeah, that's a great- Oh my god, what did you promise? Come on, guys. Let's go. Objection. Oh, it ends with an objection. Okay. Alright, so the most disappointing thing about this whole, tr whole trial um, you know, well, okay, well, the most disappointing thing about this whole trial, apart from the bullshit about not going down in the car- Oh shit, I arranged for a friend to take- of mine in Europe to take care of Emma? I hope she'll be pleased to study under a top coroner. As for me, this affair has pretty much ended my days at the, at the prosecutor's office. Still, I'll manage to find my way back to the field somehow. Then I'll be able to investigate crimes together with Emma. I thought I was a goner for a moment there. In the end, though, they overlooked my unauthorized investigation of the chief's office. If we penalize you any more, it'd be worse than firing you. Yeah, yeah, that's what they said. It just goes to show, you can't shake me off that easily. Really? Well, my new mission is to guard the main entrance and take care of Billy. Can you believe it? I've been demoted to a security guard. My partner's keeping an eye on the entrance for me today. I'll show them though. Someday I'm going to make detective. Yes, sir. Then I can be just like that dick gumshoe.
Well, I'm the blue badger. I witnessed everything, but I kept my mouth shut. I'm sentient. After the fourth game, I kill everyone and start dang in, Rampa. Oh, shit. Wow, okay. That was worth it. What is it? Can't you see I'm having me a showdown with a steak lunch partner? I think Miss Star managed to sneak this into me. She's seeing one of the guards, it seems. Well, cowboy, it looks like you did it. You even gave Bambina back her smile. Can you make sure Billy and the gang get their water? You named your cactus Billy? Billy the cactus? Billy cactus? Hmm. Looks like we won't be seeing each other for a while. As a farewell gift, I put a new meal on the menu, the right way lunch. The top layer tastes as bitter as the feet, but the bottom layer is as sweet as victory. Kids seem to dig the turnabout theme. It's a hot seller around exam time. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. I think this was the most tastefully done, like, like um, sexy character in, in the game. Like Mia is just ridiculous, just absolutely fucking ridiculous. And then it just gets more and more ridiculous as it goes on. But this seems about right. Like, she didn't need to be sexy, but it fits her character. Like, it's fine. Oh, never, never forget. What, oh, shit. Let's see. What was his name again? Uh, Mr. Left. Mr. Right. Anyway, he said he's been doing her, uh, something or other for uh, mm, uh, how many years? Well, anyway, uh, I've got another child to get to, so I better be uh, mm, brushing up on law. Huh? Oh, oh, no. I forgot my gavel. Oh, shit. Sorry. I gotta go. Hmm. Go take a dump. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say the dump line again. That's done. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, hey, ah, nothing soothes the soul like fresh country air. Still, sometimes I do miss hearing you and your objection. Still, I can't go back until I'm a full-fledged spirit medium. Mystic Maya, afternoon training is about to begin. Coming. Well, see you around, Nick. Who are they talking to right now? Just the camera? Looks into the camera like Jim on the office or something? Hmm. <laughs> Mayaya or Skyaya? Skyaya. Mr. Chadworth. Uh, Mr. Chadworth, I brought you your tea. What's going on? Damn, did Chadworth and, and Wright sneak up to the secret mystical lawyer, lawyer school up in the mountains to learn the ancient arts of combining prosecution and defense? Thanks for coming to see me off. I can't believe I'm going to Europe. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Thank you so much for everything. Can't pay you, though. I'm a little sad, but I'll be all right. Me too. I'm all right. Whenever I want to see Lana, all I have to do is open this book. Is it magic? <laughs> yeah, seriously, she's like, her whole life has been devoted to this, huh? What is that? Rise from the ashes, Phoenix. So that's the only case so far that hasn't had turnabout in it. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. Do 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 
Alright, that kind of sucked. I don't know. Like, I think that might have been my least favorite case so far. Even number three was at least entertaining in some ways. Like, this was really drawn out, really long, didn't make any sense really, and it was frustrating, and it still wasn't really that much entertaining. So I, th I think that that's my least favorite of the five. Like, I mean, the first one is the tutorial one. It doesn't even count really. So it's my least favorite of the four. Like, that, that was just a tutorial thing. It's fine. Um, yeah, I feel like that was it was too long. And I'm willing, to, I'm willing to overlook a lot of bullshit for the sake of it being entertaining. And it, it, it was entertaining. Like, it wasn't like I didn't have a, a boring time. Like, I was enjoying it. But compared to the other cases, like, they were more entertaining. You know, like, I'm not calling it bad. Just the worst of the four, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Did you know a new Five Nights at Freddy game was announced at PS5 event today? I don't really give a shit about Five Nights at Freddy, sorry. How did you like the game? It was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. It was, it was quite fun. Yep. Really, really fun. The worst thing in the case was that, or the the only the only really bad thing in the case was, well, I mean there there was also the 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 fucking like the part where they didn't really explain how she saw the vase toppled over at the same time with the lightning flash when the two people were stabbing each other and it somehow looked like the blue badger and it was never explained that the blue that's what that note caused the blue badger design it was just a complete co total coincidence to link those two together i mean like apart from that well there's also the part where um like, I, I really just don't give a shit about Lan and Emma's relationship. It was like, I don't really care. It was like, I wasn't invested emotionally in, any, in either of them. But apart from that, well, there was also the, that, that Miss, Miss Star's testimony was complete, completely batshit. And they never explained how. They never explained how, like, she lied and then she was up on the top and she saw, like, like fucking, like... Um, Lana moved back and forth as she was doing it, and she took five minutes to get through the parking lot. Like, like Lana w was has supposed to dispose of the body, or could have ran away at that time, and it's never explained why she didn't do that. She just kind of wasted all that time when she could have just like fucked off or did her job. I don't understand really what she what she was doing that time. I don't think she knew she was being like watched at the time. But like apart from that, like you know, there's well, there's also that. They never explained how Gant got the Goodman's body out of the out of the thing and and down into the into the into the fucking out of the this evidence locker and down through the the fucking parking lot and shit into the car and that no one noticed the car was broken or anything like that you know like apart from apart from that like the worst thing in the case is that Phoenix and Chowworth never shouted objection at the same time. That's the worst thing in the case. Is that Phoenix and Chatterworth didn't 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 shout objection at the same time. Do 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 best case? Uh probably uh turnabout goodbyes? Is that the one where with the elevator and the metal detector? It was just really entertaining. That's my favorite of this set. Okay, so I have a bunch of people to say thank you to, and there might be some fan art, but in the meantime, let's see. Let's make good on our, our uh, intentions. So it seems that...
There was a gameplay trailer for Demon's Souls. We don't need to watch that. PlayStation 5 prices and release date revealed. Okay, so it seems like it's going to be... PlayStation 5 is going to be... 499 US dollars, 499 US dollars, 499 US dollars. All right, cool. Uh, 449 pounds, really? Wow, that's really close together. All right, so that's gonna be uh, $900 in Canadian, so that's fun. And the digital uh, uh, edition is going to be 399 US dollars. All right. Huh, so that's cheaper than I thought. Digital edition, I guess that's gonna depend on how big their fancy new hard drive is, or if there's gonna be a second hard drive in there for, for that, I don't know. Uh, that's pretty good. I think those prices are reasonable for that amount. That's pretty good. I don't see anything wrong with that, you know? But as a member of the PC Master Race, there, there are single components in my hardware that cost more than your shabby little console, you console peasants. Huh, 509 US dollars for the whole thing? <laughs> Garbage. Uh, Demon Souls' is gameplay, I think I said already. Hogwarts Legacy, I don't give a shit about that. Although, I guess a good uh, Harry Potter game could be fun. Um, something about Spider Man, who gives a shit about that? Left 4 Dead 2, The Last Stand update. What? Alright. Where's this Final Fantasy 6 people were talking about? Oh, it's right there. Final Fantasy 16 Awakening trailer. Alright. Was there anything else worth worthwhile? Nothing else was announced? Demon Souls coming to PC at the same time. No way. No. Demon Souls is a PlayStation 5 launch title. That just sums up this gaming era just, you know, to a T, huh? Fucking hell. God of War 2. I don't think God of War 2 is there. Or else it would be at the top of this thing. It was teased a little bit. Oh, 2021, really? Okay, that's gonna get delayed. All right, cool. Well, that's fun. That's a little sooner than I thought. Devil May Cry Special Edition announcement trailer. Who gives a fuck about that? Uh, Alright, anything else people see? Anything Anything else that's new? Did the stream just go down? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chat is broken for me. Why is chat broken? Uh-oh. Okay, I just refreshed and it's back. That's weird, that's never happened before. It's working on the other computer, but not this one. <laughs> okay, I see you guys, hello, hello. Anyway, anything else new? I don't think we need to watch the, the only trailer anyone gives a shit about together, right? Which is Final Fantasy 16? All right. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There was just a teaser. Surprise that they say it's coming out in, in a year and they're only showing a teaser. That's kind of weird. What, wouldn't they show anything of the game? Maybe they're, maybe it's 2021 is when they're showing their first trailer. Twenty twenty one, we're gonna do the gameplay reveal. Objection! We never said the game was coming out in 2021. We just put that date on the trailer. It could mean anything. All right, so that's it. Thank you, uh, so I haven't said thank you uh, pretty much since the beginning of the stream, so apologies to anyone who subbed or gave bits uh, during the stream. Um, like, uh, we were, I was trying to rush to get the game done today in time for the PlayStation 5 event, which was uh, really stupid in hindsight because there was just so much left to it. Uh, so I'm going to go through and say thank you to some people. Thank you, uh, Ahmad MT, I think. Thank you very much. Sir Dunk the Lunk for the 8-month 3-sub. 
Kane Osite for the new sub. Welcome. Uh, oh, uh, some people might leave while I'm d doing thank yous. Uh, we're going to do some fan art and stuff at the end, but uh, just so everyone is, before you go, um, if you leave, uh, there's no stream tomorrow. The, the next stream is on Friday. There's no stream tomorrow. So uh, I, I have some stuff to do tomorrow. So no stream. No stream. So um, yeah, we're going to play Delta Rune on Friday and then Ace of 22 on next Tuesday, I think. So there we go. So Delta Rune on Friday. Ace of 22 starts on Tuesday. So there you go. Fritz Imperial has subscribed for eight months. We we're glad to have the streams back. It was hard not having them over the summer while working a night shift. All I had was a Catholic priest playing Doom and Mandalore getting drunk and biting into a raw onion. Now I work from home and can catch your streams. Well, that sounds like it was an interesting summer. Thank you for the message and and, uh, and the resub, Fritz Imperial. Uh, Super Stickman Twenty Two has resubscribed for twenty five months. Thank you very much, Aus. Andrew has used 100 bits to say, as a proud Australian, I must say this case goes well beyond the realms of our kangaroo court system. Poo hoo hoo. Thank you, Oz Andrew. Uh, Squirrel of Terror has used subscribe for nine months. Hurricane Sally sends its regards, watching while I wait for this to blow over. Literally. Oh, damn. Uh, good luck with Hurricane Sally, uh, Squirrel of Terror. Yeah, uh, hurricane season is scaring me because uh, 2020 has just been such a clusterfuck already. So um, hopefully th that's the exception of 2020's rule and the hurricane season is relatively mild. But yeah. Uh, good luck, anyone who's uh, gonna have to deal with that this year. Uh, Lis Lispiu, Lispiu, I think, has subscribed for some. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nerd Nick, for the 8-month resub. Time moves too fast. Feels birthday, man. Is it your birthday, Nerd Nick? Happy birthday, Nerd Nick. If you're still here, or if uh, you watch the VOD, or you, or you hear this, hopefully. Happy birthday, Nerd Nick. Hope you have a good one. Isolate Space Man uses 100 bits to say, as per Twitch's new guidelines, any message containing strong language will demonetize the stream. Uh, say enough. So enjoy words being replaced with Kappa and thank Jeff Bezos Kappa Top Lolly. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, thank you, Isolated Space Man. Holy Moly Senior Perdoli has resubscribed for 35 months with Wowie. Thank you, Holy Holy Moly. Joe's Retinas used 100 bit. Use under to say, hey chat, well, who else is ready for Joe to absolutely not be able to pronounce the name of that one character from Delta Rune? Oh no, who's it gonna be? see if I can get it. Pressure's on. Devil58 has resubscribed for 30 months. Thank you very much, Devil58. Happy Pie has used 500 bits to say, good job on suffering through the vase like everyone who ever played this game. Yeah, that seemed really janky and, and finicky as shit. I don't know why chat was, was fucking on my tits about that. Like, what the hell? So I went British there. Thank you. That, that's how angry I am. I went British. Like, what? Like, what? Come on. That was bullshit. Who's gonna defend that? I had no problem with it. First try. Obvious. Need to work on your spatial awareness. <sighs> anyway, thank you, Happy Pie. Pretty pretty low moment. Low moment for the uh, for the streams uh, or the, for the games. Joe moment for the games. Uh, T just TT uh, has resubscribed for 36 months with three years, huh? Thank you very much, T just TT. Welcome to the three year club. Thank you. Uh, As Asphaltus, I think. I can never say a name right. Uh, Tezel has used 100 bits to say, uh, right worth better than PlayStation 5. Ooh, is this when we were d debating whether to stop playing? Yeah, I agree. I think we made the right choice. PlayStation 5 announcement was kind of boring. Yeah. Ice Slide 1 has used 100 bits to say, here's $1 in raw bribes to continue AA tomorrow. I'm going to be late and don't want to miss Deltarune. Uh, I think you'll be fine. You're, it's going to be on Friday, so you should be fine because we're not doing it tomorrow. Should be fine. Unless you mean Friday. Uh oh. Do, do. do you think the do you think the God of War Ragnarok thing is just a little teaser? You know the way that um, that Nintendo uh, said that a new Metroid Prime game was in development and it wasn't, you know, and the way that they said Bayonetta three was in development and it wasn't. Like, there's no way that Sony would stoop to the same level as Nintendo. I mean, there's no way that Sony would rise to the same level as Nintendo, right? There's no way. Come on, there's no way they would do that, huh? Or that Breath of the Wild 2 was in development when it wasn't. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Shit. No, no, no. No way. Uh, Philip Senna has resubscribed for 24 months. Hey, two years. Welcome to, uh, welcome to the two-year club, Philip Senna. Welcome, welcome. Buy our Switches. We'll have lots of games. We promise, Kappa. Uh, Akamori22 has resubscribed for three months. Thank you very much. Sampeka20 has resubscribed for 24 months. Welcome to the two-year club, Sampeka. Shit, I missed this. I hope game good. Hope fam good. Everything's going good. The game's good. Family's good. Yep. Pretty good. Thank you, Sampeka. Keegan Loses has resubscribed for 18 months. Thank you very much, Keegan Loses. Holy Cov has resubscribed for three months with Ja'awi. Uh-oh. Always baiting. 
Soymac is subscribed for the first time. Welcome, Soymac. Also, welcome to Duckless, I think. Duck1ESS. I think that's Duckless. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the new subs. Toast Engineer has said, Hey, what's that over your shoulder, boss? Oh, me and Goodman were doing some day drinking in the evidence room and he passed out. I'm on my way to stuff him in the Edwards trunk just to fuck with him. Oh, cool. See you at the spaghetti place later. Wow, mom 98 has used 50 bits to say, Joe, if you don't want us to think you're baiting all the time, then stop baiting chat. Kappa, I don't bait you guys that much, do I? No, I don't bait that much. Am I baiting right now? I don't know. Illarin has uh, reached for 30 months with Ayaya when Ayaya never. It's up to you. It's in your hands. If you want, if you want to get Ayaya, then spend your coins. Like, come on. Just spend your coins. Lol. Just buy it. Just enable it. Lol. Like, what's the problem? Did you guys, how, how far did you get with the month one today? Do, 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 do. I'll check after this. Thank you, Rygan, for the 50 bits and also for gifting the subs earlier and yesterday. Like, the like crazy generous. Thank you so much, Rygan. With Melodious. I couldn't say that in Gans, Gans voice, but it, it skipped over. Thank you so much. Uh, Frugal Puddle has says, we were Ace Attorneys, time to be Justice for Alls. Is that the next one? Justice for All? Do, 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 do. Justice for All is the next one, and then Trials and Tribulations. Pretty good, uh, pretty good title, I gotta say. Okay. Do, do, do. Are they, do they all follow the same format of having five cases each? And is the first case really short? So it's really four cases and a short intro? Or does someone have, is that a spoiler? You know what, don't tell me. We'll, we'll find out. Why not? Why, I don't need to know that. I was just curious, but I, it can wait for me to, to see it. Thank you, Ticken4922, for the 703 sub. Thank you very much. And last but not least, I space and you some bits to say congrats on your acting career taking off. What, because I keep baiting chat? No. No. There's no way. It can't be. All right, so how are you guys doing? So you uh, got 1 million off for the daily challenge. All right, cool. And you got 21% um, raised for the, for the weekly and 4% raised for the monthly. Hmm, okay. So how much did you raise for the monthly? You got 800,000 for the monthly. All right, so you guys have a lot of coins right now. So I'm curious if these numbers are calibrated properly. If they're not, then I can lower them so it's a fair monthly challenge and a fair weekly and daily. But right now, you know, um, you know, let's get rid of all these coins for no nefarious reason whatsoever. Um, okay, so, but let me know if, if these numbers need to be changed a little bit. So let me take a million off, yeah, yeah, for your, for your daily. Do, 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 do. And just for fun, I'm going to zero out the hundred thousand so it's even. There you go. A bonus hundred thousand off Ayaya. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So it's even now because we're only going to be going down by by um, intervals of a million, right? So there you go. All right. So it's at eight eight hundred and thirty million now. Good job. Good job. Okay. I wonder who's the weeb hero in chat that hasn't spent a single coin on any Ayayas that's saving up to be the one that's just drops like like five million on it when it's got only five million left. It's like boom. I'm gonna be that guy. Stayed strong, hasn't hasn't contributed anything even though they want to. Maybe they maybe they, they they faltered a little bit and they put 2K on some of these challenges. They're like, oh, it's 2K. I can only do it once a day. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I wonder I wonder who's uh, who's plotting. Hmm. I wonder if I can see who has the most coins. Can I see that? Oh man. Anyway, is there any fan art? Do, 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 there is one, two, three, four, five fan arts. Okay. As you can see here, this is from uh, TD5R, I think, or D5R on uh, on Discord. As you can see here, the only way to showcase this new 2005 era technology is to watch this tape yet again for the fuckteenth time. Hold it. 
the hands. Right, I have something to say. As of now, I have two things to confess. First off, these are not my real hands. <gasps> what? Secondly, I wasn't really sure before, but I think I'm starting to have feelings for you. F feelings? Huh, this is an unexpected revelation from the prosecution. Tell us what exactly are, are these feelings you're referring to? Please be feelings of contempt, please be feelings of contempt. I'm afraid not, right? Each time you repeatedly presented your badge to me, I started to realize that these feelings have evolved to become romantic over time. Oh, this sounds like someone's really, really bad ship. However, I can't help but become intrigued. What does the defense have to say about this confession? Uh, thanks. Mr. Wright, that's no way to respond to a confession of this caliber. Permission to give the defense a reluctant yet solemn embrace, your honor. Uh, permission granted. Embrace the def defense however you like. I hate this. I hate this so much. I didn't say stop. <laughs> All right, so I, I have I have one criticism of this, okay? I have one criticism of this. You missed a, you missed a tick when you didn't make his real hands even bigger than the fake hands. And that's all I'll say. You missed a tick there. But then the rest of the comic might have been impossible to do the gigantic hands. This is adorable, thank you. This is from Lazy Toaster. How can you say it didn't rain on the day of the murder? Because the sky was blue, and so was I. <laughs> blue background of match, nice. The sky was blue, and so was I. Thank you, Lazy Toaster. Do, 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 do. People contributing to the Ayaya thing just all the time. Do, 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 do. This one is from Toxel. First Ace Attorney stream. Hold on, let me. First Ace Attorney stream. Second Ace Attorney stream. Third Ace Attorney stream. <laughs> Alright, wait for it, chat. Wait for it, here we go. Fourth Ace Attorney game. A stream, sorry. <laughs> it's like, it's like he's holding the comic. Have you have you guys seen that uh, that Twitter video of of the girl freaking out about his gigantic hand? She can't get over it. There are some gigantic gigantic hands. Thank you, Toxel. Uh, this is also from D5R, and I love this. Wait. It's the thinker. I, I really wish they had found a way to get the thinker in, in every single um, in every single uh, trial or every single case for, for this game. I wonder if it comes back later. Please don't say, don't spoil it. I, lo I love that the thinker became a meme. Do, 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 do. Oh, and there's another one by D5R too. D5R, you're, you're really fast. I'm impressed. Do, 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 do. But the idea was Nodges. Hmm. Hmm. Lana had Gumshoe give me this book for a reason. I should give it a read through at least. Evidence Law. From the people who brought you the Book of Dad <laughs> How 
how, how many inside jokes is this operating on now? Rule 1, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Rule 2, unrest evidence for them must be relevant to the case. Huh. The rest of this book are just blank pages. Did I just get scammed? <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So, I had a dad joke book that, that had, like, um, uh, 100 jokes in it. And then just 20 to 30 blank pages at the end. Should I count how many blank pages there are? It only has 100 jokes in it. 51 pages and the rest are blank. All right, here's how many blank pages. One blank page. Uh, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 15. blank pages. 15 blank pages. Do, 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 do. Ah, ah, ah. You guys want a free dad joke? Okay, here's a free dad joke. All right. <clears throat> if Geralt played baseball, what position would he play? The pitcher. There you go. That was in the book. That was in the book. It's a very up-to-date book. Uh, thank you, the Bibsy, for the new sub. Welcome. Welcome, Bibsy. Thank you very much. All right, so I think I'm done. Um, do, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. So, yeah, there's no stream tomorrow, and we're going to play Delta Run on Friday. And I want to check... One thing before we go. I could do this off stream. I'm going to just check now. R9K in permanent going forward? I didn't even know R9K was on. Is R9K on? Think you'll ever play the Henry Stickman collection? I don't know what what that is. What's the stream game plan after Ace Attorney 3? Uh, the David Cage games and then uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. What's R9K? R9K is when uh, you can't type the same message that someone else has already typed into chat. You have to have a unique message to type in chat, which that isn't as restrictive as you might think. But yeah, that's what it is. I don't think that's on. Maybe one of the mods turned on? I don't know if the mods can turn on. Okay, so we are very close to the next emote slot as well. Uh, so, I don't know. We might not get it, but we're pretty close. Not that it really matters, because we're going to cycle out some emotes anyway. We have more slots open than we have emotes right now. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, we've never had more subs than we have right now. Uh, thank you to some people that have generously uh, gifted so many. Um, and a lot of new people too. All right, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and, and cycle those out soon. Uh, I wanted to do it last weekend, but I was too busy. Like I've I have a whole like I've been trying to make this miss like kind of fan art thing myself, and I haven't been able to get it done, even though I thought it would only take me a couple days, and now it's gone on longer because just shit keeps happening, and and you know just I don't know just a lot of shit. Let's not get into it, but yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we might, we might have three three just straight up new emote slots, and then we have. Uh, some of the ones that we're gonna that we're gonna retire. So it's pretty good. Some mod turned on slow mode during Bid Badger thing. Did you ask for it? I didn't, but I don't I'm not reading chat very much. So if a mod thought it was worth it to put on slow mode, maybe that was a good decision. I don't know, I have to go back. In spoiler chat and Discord, people bet 12 to 0 that you were gonna fall for a bait that you didn't fall for. Congrats. What what was that? Or is it is that a spoiler? Some mod turned on slow mode during badger. Did you ask for it? No, I didn't. But it might have been a good decision. When's your Chad worth it coming out? I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, thank you, Puckered Starfish, for the 12 and 3 sub. Welcome to the one year club. 12 months of waiting for an ocean of stars. Ooh, I think you'll be waiting for a while longer, unfortunately. I don't think that's on the list anytime soon. Would you need to support the AA games after the trilogy of the PC before you consider playing them on stream in the future? That depends on how... First of all, it depends on how good the quality will be if I can get them running fairly well and if I can play them legally. I will not play a game illegally on, on stream. Now, if... I, 
how, how can I say this without getting in trouble? Shit. Like, if I own it, and there's a way I can stream it, if you get what I'm saying, I think that's fine. But if there's no way to buy the game anymore, I'm not doing it. Does that make sense? I think you all get it. Do, 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 do. If you present the Clothman Gantt first, ask to get it into the game. Oh, is that the bait? Yeah, that didn't seem like a decision. But then I was I was overly cautious after that, and I made a lot of dumb decisions. So I think uh, I, I, don't, I don't think I followed up all that well. How does the dab reward work? Uh, you hand it in, and then when I have time to do it, I get Lily upstairs to witness the dab so she can confirm that I dabbed. That's it. Do we have a dab? Ooh, someone made me dab. Madular made, made me dab. Uh, next time Lily's here, I will do that dab for you, Madular. Oh my god, excuse me, Indie Gamer Luke, Squeaky Samurai, Sarah the Sly, Primary Fire, Teef, CK Tofu, Samar Samaranth, uh, Feta, and Contadex, J the Funky Homo Sapien, have all used 20k coins on Sweet FA instead of Ayaya. Congratulations to you, the heroes. That's, that's a lot of coins just down the drain. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. All right, I have 21 requests to do a dad joke. I think we'll do them uh, maybe at the beginning of next stream and we'll get the dad jokes caught up. Uh, the dad joke uh, reward might seem too cheap to some of you. I, th I think I saw some people discussing that on Discord earlier. Uh, but it's 10K and there's there's only like one page in the dad joke now. So it's just it's just 10K for one joke. So it's not that bad. You used to get a whole page for 10K, which I think was like four or five jokes. But now it's only one because the book is stingy as fuck. So that's the end of that. So you say you're willing to buy the ca console and the capture card to record it? Yes. Uh, chances are I probably already have the console. I don't know about a capture card. I have some capture cards, but I'm not sure if I have the right one for that. Are you secretly stocking up on monocoins yourself? I have infinite monocoins. I, I could um, I could enable the IR right now. I have infinite. Like there's just an infinity sign next to my monocoins. So I could just do it. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand in Weeb Absolution. There you go, Weeb Absolution. I've done it. I'm no longer a Weeb. Congrats to me. I'm no longer a Weeb. I can make myself not a Weeb whenever I want. How do you feel about that? Mark is complete. I'm no longer a Weeb. I don't make the rules. I actually do. It's on 3DS? I have a 3DS. Finn plays it sometimes. Why are we still here? What are we still doing? Parker Starfish used 500 bits to say, you didn't say no, just a while. There's still hope, a, la a last hope for Ocean of Stars. Thank you for the for the bits, Parker Starfish. You didn't have to use 500 bits for that. That's too many bits for that. But thank, thank you so much. How do you feel about Miles and right now? I hope that they uh, that, that, that they get together, man. And And bump butts. That's how lawyers would do it, right? They would bump butts? Probably. Anyway, uh, that's it. I'm going. See you guys later. See you on Friday. No stream tomorrow. I have to take puppies to the vet. And that's it. That's me. Go and enjoy any of the, um, the whatchamacallit, the PlayStation 5 things if you didn't see them. That's it. See you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the Ace Attorney 1 playthrough. That's it. It's done. We're done. We, we did it. It only took two years. But we finally played an Ace Attorney game all the way through. See you guys later. Have a good one.